Hey everyone, welcome Namaste. to a new Mega 64 podcast, brand new, coming to you in 2023. Um, last week, we did, we was our first one of 2023. We had a special guest on here, um, but we didn't get to dive into, you know, that was a great conversation, by the way. I thought it was a productive conversation. Shout out H Bomber guy for being on set, but Everyone out there is watching. They want to know what's going on in the lives of these men who host this show. They want to know the backstory. What happened? Why are what happened at the end of 2022 that made them who they are today? That's right. In 2023, and I heard a lot. I heard a lot of shit talking uh, just on the PPS. Like, where was your wrap up? Why didn't mm-hmm. we get to hear from Sean? Sean wasn't even there. Thank you, Sean, for for coming back in this time. You're welcome. Um, happy to be here. We didn't get Hello. to talk about any of the like what ha- what did we do over the holidays? Yeah. What did we do over the break? Yeah, and, they're, and I'm they're gonna be real. I feel like H Bomber guy ruined that. Well, <laughs> like it's we, the, he took away our ability to to do that. British humor, I've been told, it's a dry. Yeah, wit. it's dry. yeah. Except for Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean is like is the best. fucking good. He's that's wet. why I got him yeah. on my fucking feet. <laughs> Homie is wet. Are you wearing that's those bro? Yeah, that's why I got oh. the bean socks. Dude. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Yeah, guys, he's I'm an so icon happy right now. And he knows how to respect <laughs> the space, but the H bomber guy. Sean. Yeah, those are the ones. I'm so happy right Garrett now. Garrett gave those to for Christmas, and he's wearing them. Wow. And you're making stink face over there. Do they? <laughs> I wasn't prepared for. Well, a it wasn't the socks. Sock it, it was. It was. It wasn't. It's not sweaty it at all. Feet. It's cold out here. I don't yeah. want feet in anywhere near my face. It's why? cold out. No. Yeah. What about close-minded feet? Comedy. They're not for faces. No, I can't, feet I can't, are no no faces. Feet. I can't get my foot right up next to you just for a joke. Nope. For the for laugh. a joke you can, but I would yeah. rather you not. It is yeah, funny. Hey, is there hey, another hey. way you can make a joke? I gave hey, a kid I'm a down foot for massage. Joke. <laughs> what are you <laughs> saying? At our panel, do you remember when we used to play Truth or Dare? I just had a flashback. I gave the sweatiest foot massage to some kid in the I front row. So- <laughs> <laughs> but it was for the <laughs> joke, you <laughs> see, and I pa- I powered the through the sweat. You know, I for. We did a lot of things in the past. Yeah. And when you say I gave a kid a foot massage, I mean, like, what the fuck could you possibly be saying? But yeah, at PAX or something, we played Truth or Dare at our panel. <laughs> Your dare was, he dared you to give him a foot massage. He had like a pair of 13 Air Jordan. And I was like, <laughs> you like oh, you've been walking around the that con was a all day? day? I yeah, can walking tell. around all, all day. day. At Ew. a con. <laughs> <laughs> Garrett. Who came up with this idea? Who was who was I, the like? Let's play we, truth or dare. At the we panel? Were, yeah, we went through a phase where <laughs> thank God. Yeah, we went through. We had about a year span where we were doing a lot of conventions, mm-hmm. and some of the um, you know sometimes we have a lot of videos to show, sometimes we don't, and we were going through. Hey, this year we were. I don't remember what we were working on, but it was like can't show that much. And Q and A, you don't want that to go too long. Q and A, I I actually like doing Q and A at events. But you don't want it to go too long. Yeah. Like the a little second, bit is the good. The second someone thinks this is going too long, it's, it's already 15 bad. minutes yep. too long. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. leave them wanting more. You, yeah. You want to get a handful of really good questions. Yeah. Sometimes, we, you know, it's live and learn. We, uh, I remember we did like Anime Expo panels in the past where suddenly at the last minute they go, oh, hey, you know, your panel's set to be an hour. Do you want it to be two hours? And it's like, well, okay, we'll take more time. You, you know, eight, more. we're trained in the theater. More stage time. I'm, Yeah, I'll, yeah I want it. It's sure. rare. But then you do it, and it's like, oh, Q&A goes past an hour. It's, and it's way too much. And it much. starts to get to the joke questions, and it starts to It's like, okay, we got to cut this. So you like to keep it concise. And uh, so we were like, hey, at all these events coming up, we don't want it to go on too long. Let's do play some kind of game. Let's do uh, t- Truth or Dare. That'd be fun to see. Like, like, oh, yeah. what would happen with that? Yeah, that's engaging. <laughs> sure and is. there were some panels it was fun. And it either got us to talk about stuff we had never talked about or something funny happened on stage. Yeah. But then there were some where it was like, oh, man. There was one, and I can't remember the real reason. I know that we the Reese's cereal, Reese's Puffs, yeah. had a big thing at this particular. And it was next, it was door, next door. Next door. Panel room. 
and we had we dared someone to run into the ball pit and take balls and run back to our thing and yeah show, like, and i remember running, <laughs> that was oh, yeah i remember i was filming that so i remember running with them to the other room to yeah. take yeah. a ball from the ball which pit. was like super funny yeah and, like funny and we you know that was good it was it, calling your um the stolen phone thing dude from that. i called yeah. that girl's dad yeah oh, yeah like yeah. that was a, that was legendary oh, yeah, that I, was legendary for those of you i mean we said it before but the girl, those of you who don't know what that is a girl dared me to call her dad so with her phone. So I called her and just said, like, oh, I stole your uh, whoever's phone this was. Yeah. <laughs> this is my phone now. It's mine so now. Just please delete this number because it's my phone now. Yeah. <laughs> he did not get it or no. think it was funny. And then, I mean, I, went, I mean, I was bullshitting him for like at least 10 minutes. Yeah. And then hung up on him and then gave the phone back. And I guess she tried to text him and call him back. Like that was he a already joke. canceled. He this. already canceled her phone. Yeah. He oh. ended it. He terminated it immediately. <laughs> Like, he didn't even wait 10 seconds. He's, He's like, like, I'll show you, fucker. She was at a con with no phone for the oh. weekend. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Well, we didn't okay. think that one through. I didn't. Also, that was her dare. Yeah. Um. But then there were ones that were like, I remember we, we that year at Anime Expo was the, was the one, fortunately, I think it was kind of the last time this happened, but there was one year at Anime Expo where it was pandemonium, where it was like no one knew where, what room our panel was going to be in. Oh, I they were that forming year. lines yeah. for it. But they were forming multiple lines and no one knew which was the yeah. official one. And it was 20 minutes into the panel and no one had been loaded in. It was like everything that could go wrong went wrong. Yeah. And so then we just launched right into, we showed a couple of videos and then we went into truth or dare. And it was like, so someone chased you or something or someone someone had to do laps around someone ran and chased someone oh. around the, the theater weren't too happy and i remember just like <laughs> i wish i was anywhere else right now like already already everything had gone wrong but then they Someone's someone was someone was like running lap i don't oh. remember what was happening really? they were chasing you and then uh and then someone else i think got dared to to give me a massage <laughs> and so then the rest of the panel a dude was like giving me a massage and i was like what is happening right now yeah <laughs> I mean, it was a good massage so someone that had to chew someone up, else's but... gum oh so that, oh yeah that's what i was gonna say is that was that's PAX. what ended it was it? the last con oh. we had that year was was pax i think in seattle and uh it came down to that it was i think someone dared Derek to chew his gum. Oh my god, that's yep. right. And and, and I remember thinking what that'll be the, that'll be the end of that. Yep. And it was. Let and me it tell was. you, he did it though. Yeah, to his he credit. did it. What a hey, sport. He put it in the water, but rinse it off. Derek but that was it. And I, friend of mine for many years. Yeah. If he if it's his food or his drink, I am not going to touch. It. Yeah. He does yeah, not yeah, yeah. like it even to be like. Yeah. If I like touch Rocco's cup and move it. Yeah. Rocco's like okay, whatever. Derek is like, I don't want it anymore. Oh, I didn't know like, that about him. He does not like it. Yeah, he does not like his mm. stuff touched. It's weird how much he loves here belching, but he won't like he won't <laughs> but he won't I know mess that. with food. I do know that very, about very him. weird. He does, does not, not like, like belches. It. So when that was dared, it's like I think you found the absolute last thing Derek would want to do. Yeah. <laughs> this has to be the last yeah. thing. I mean, like, I, I didn't think he was going to do it. I was like, oh, he's he's going to end the game and that'll be it. But he did it. Did yeah. it. He did it. He's loyal to And then he never did to the Derek again. For good no. reason. It, it we was were a, already getting kind of over it, and then that happened. It was dude, like, the anxiety well, it, before a stream, the anxiety I would have knowing, like, oh my god, we got to do truth or dare after this. And that's the thing is, this. too, like, no one said truth because it's like I don't know what you're gonna ask me in front of all these people on a panel. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, what? I don't know. Like, yeah. it's scary. So Dare's like, I guess, like, you know, what's it could possibly be? Yeah. But chew, chew my gum. Chew my gum. I'd rather do a truth after that, <laughs> for sure. I ch I like doing truth because I thought people would get into like, you know, they'd ask me for like tax info or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Funny, you know. How much did you make in 2019? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. How many um, write-offs you got? What are you guys paying Johnny? Because uh, there's all these jokes that you guys don't pay him, and I want to know. <laughs> yeah. Damn, dude. Anyway. Anyways, um, But yes. Yeah, so, oh. All, all I was going to, to come around to my point I was trying to make at the beginning of the show, um, H-Bomber guy, I feel like intentionally kind of dismantled our podcast, and uh, I'm working on a video essay in response to that, oh. a measured response to, I wanted to talk about what I got for Christmas and didn't get to. 
a measured response. So well, do, do we have to wait for your video essay? Yeah. Or can we? I'm not going to talk about it now. I have talk. a two-hour video oh, essay about him <laughs> that's coming out. So I wonder what avatar figure you got for Christmas. Yeah. What did I get for Christmas? What avatar figure? Yeah, specifically. I feel like I brought up Avatar like every fucking podcast, so okay. I, I'm sorry to everyone out there, but mm -hmm. he asked. I uh, yeah. I got <laughs> Natiri and Natiri's Banshee for Christmas, ooh. and that got me the bug. I was like, ooh, these figures are good. Mm. I, they did a good job on these. So I got... Um, they're already clearancing out the mech suit that uh, Quaritch w was in, so yeah. I got yeah. that. Um, and uh, just like a couple days ago, I just filmed a figure update today. Mm. I got um, Jake solely from the uh, Reef Battle. So it's not him with the fucking shit from the first movie. He's yeah, got all I've the gear yeah. from the second one. And uh, and I got his, uh, his skim wing. Hell yeah. That he skim rides. Wing, yeah, dude. the skim wing. Skim you know, wing. They ride him I over the water. Those little fucking I, alligator I, I, shows. I know. They, I don't remember them saying the name in the movie, but. You know what? They, they probably did, but in the three and a half hours, it probably just kind of <laughs> <woo> <laughs> flew by. You know, yeah. I was watching something else. Um, I was not the 3D-ness of it all. I only I remember got, the got, spider. Let's see. Before. I got all that for, I know it's a month since Christmas, but we haven't talked about our, our winter break or any of that stuff. Um, so I got that. I got um, To Kill a Mockingbird on 4K Blu-ray. Yo. So you guys want to come over, check that I out? I was <laughs> thinking, real? Um, I was looking at my shelf, and I was like, I think I should just get rid of all these Blu-rays and DVDs. Like, why do I have this? And I was, I really am like, I don't, I, this just takes up space for me. It does, And yeah. then I remember back in the day, we knew someone who had just a, um, like a CD binder. Yeah. yeah. Just, and I thought that was the craziest thing I'd ever seen at the time. Like, why would you do this? And now I'm like, I think I'm on board. Like, I just want the disc. I don't yeah. need the, the case. I, yeah, that, yeah. that person I, definitely I had a lot of good ideas. I never <laughs> said that. I never said that. Yeah. I need the case. I, I need collector's mentality. I got to have the whole stuff. The whole kit. Yeah. I'm a hoarder, dude. I'm it, like already thinking about oh, what what Blu-rays you getting rid of. It comes, <laughs> it com to me, my physical media collection is I want my favorite shit in the best version possible. Mm. So like, um, you know, whatever. Like it, all the movies that are in my top ten favorite movies, I'll, they're not gonna ever look as good on streaming. I have them on a you know if there's a 4K Blu-ray, I have them. Yeah. But like old DVDs, like DVDs. Yeah. Um, yeah, Got do I need, you know, super bad on DVD? Do yeah. I need that? No, I that probably don't. To me, mm. if it, if you don't care about it that much, that's like yeah. it would look better on Netflix to watch that. It would look better yeah. on anything else. So yeah. I don't keep that stuff. But my physical media collection is like I said, is that it's the Godfather trilogy in 4K. It's yeah. it's and it's give me the best possible version of the best shit. I don't have just random DVD, except I do actually have DVDs we bought back in the GDC days at Rasputin and stuff. I have, I have, oh, yeah. those are, like yeah. purposely bad movies, sure. how, how I saved the the president, all the buttercream yeah. shit. Yeah. And there, yeah. there's some That's movies different. that never went beyond DVD. Mm -hmm. well, so yeah. some things that and so those like, I have got, too. got a yeah. lot of I will say, yeah. a lot of anime I feel on DVD. like I have every streaming service possible. Yeah. We have so many of them. And every time, like, hey, we should watch this movie with Beckett and Emma. And they, it's never on any of them. Yep. Ever. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, what are the odds? Uh, yeah. Last night, it was like, Beckett's never seen The Terminator. Let's watch The Terminator. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's you know, that wasn't on there. The Terminator exactly. 2 was. And yeah. so it's like, uh, well, let's do, we'll do that. So we watched Terminator 2 last night. Yeah. And not, but he hadn't seen the first one. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I that's saw That's how I started. I did yeah. not that's, see the first one. That was Jenny's logic, too. She's yeah. like, I don't think it's only I think like, everybody. You kinda, same thing with Army of Darkness. I feel like everybody watched Army of Darkness <laughs> before Evil Dead. Yeah. I never saw any Terminators until, like, I, I was probably like 28. And I actually did see them in order. Okay. I saw them in order, too. But, you know, it doesn't really. I mean, honestly. I'll talk to you for two minutes. Like, yeah. you know what happened the first one? You got it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to say most kids at school when I was growing up yeah. only saw the second one. Yeah. But I, as it's been documented that I hadn't watched this when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And then when Jenny suggested it last time, I'm like, this is Beckett being 15 is the perfect age yes. to see this movie. Totally. And guess oh, yeah. what? He fucking loved it. Oh, nope. he did. He fucking loved it. So there it's you classic. go. You know, it's classic. Um, but yeah, I, I hate that uh, search for where do I watch this? I won't. I, yeah. I absolutely don't. So that's why any to all the I, that's why all I have, your favorites. I have all the classics. Those are in. I know exactly where they are. Mm -hmm. I was at, I, I had someone over the other a couple weeks ago, whenever it was. And oh, I've never seen Planet of the Apes. Done. It was there. But it was done. I hate to admit this. Mm -hmm. I feel too lazy to get up. Get and up and pop a disc. And like, where I, is this? I'm going through all my discs. Like, I don't know. And I'd rather just look at them. Like, is it on Netflix? 
Okay, good enough. There's like, something I, fun about like, hey, let's put on like a movie tonight. Okay, what do you want to watch? And you, you start, put, you just start naming them off on the list. Ooh, I, yeah, I enjoy dude, that that's too. That's true. That's, ooh, that's that, nice. Ooh, I'll pull three and I'll ask Trish. Ooh, like, hey, what do, I, what do you think of these three? I have yeah. had friends tell me about the disc laziness for uh, at least a decade. Yeah. Uh, I know a couple people who are like, I cannot be bothered to get up and do that. I have can't identify less. Mm, I not enjoy. At all. I, yeah. It it will look better, sound better, be a better experience if I get up and pop put it that off in. the disc. That's never it, you know. And same with video game. I mean, you know, it was a necessity so, for me for yeah, years yeah, yeah. because of the internet being so terrible. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. Just goes back to the days where there was no option to. Like, you know, I just I remember like being a kid having to find the VHS and be like, Ugh! and it was the worst. Yeah. Like, going through each of the, the drawers of my parents' like entertainment system. Or yeah. Whatever yeah. The fuck. And now it's like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I just want to hit a button. And See, I have, yeah. I have fond I, memories of tape digging through my parents' like yeah. entertainment center. The only thing I could identify that with, I guess, is if you're watching a series or something. Because even some of my favorite shows, I'll still buy. The, I will buy the box set. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I can understand sometimes it's like, yo, I want to rewatch that show, but I just want to like fucking blaze through it. So I don't want to be fumbling around. I, I'm like, I'm glad I own the best version of mm -hmm. it. But like. I really want to rewatch Breaking Bad before this. Yeah. Let me, it's on Netflix in, in like 4K. Let me just, yeah. I'll, just I'll play that here. I'll play it at work. You know, that that's a situation where I'll, eat, I'll, I'll, yeah, I don't care. Yeah, no, but I but with a, a movie, I'll put that in. I don't have a 4K TV. So I guess I really, like, I mean, in my world, like, you know, when it went from standard television to HD, that was like, you had to, you had to evolve. Yeah. This 4K, it's like, eh, it's, it's, it still looks good. It's fine. It's yeah. Great. yeah. Oh, it's good enough. You're not 4K HDR 7.1. I am. I'm not, not 7.1. They're up to 7.2 now. We're behind What's the times. What the fuck is two subwoofers. Two woofers. Yeah, baby. Shut up. Yeah. Why would it be two? Where do you put that? Left and right. Better. Oh, it's more. Oh, Higher one number. There, one there. Yeah. People have too much room in their house. What, what do you have? What do you probably stuff? Where do you put? Oh, that? dude, there's people out there with theater rooms. We're well, not those people. I mean, I'm not that person. <laughs> it's all about Dolby Atmos now. You gotta, yeah. you gotta go Atmos. I got 40x in my house, dude. You got that in your yeah, in your basement, dude. Yeah. 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 I'm coming over. I watch YouTube videos with it. <laughs> yeah, I watch the, I watch uh, I watch Try Guys in 40x. It's you watch fucking nuts. you watch Try Guys and like a steel press <laughs> melting. Yeah. Like uh, I watch like you know the the 10 hours of crackling fire. Oh yeah, yeah. But I just do it in 40x and it, it's yeah. Really I, want, I do uh, lo-fi beats to study to oh, in 40, so. 40x. <laughs> Just it just cradles you to sleep, dude. Well. Hell yeah, yeah that's pretty dope. Um. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, we were talking about uh, your Christmas Christmas haul. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I don't know. I, don't I mean know that, that 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 covers it. <laughs> okay, that covers it. <laughs> what did you guys do? Anything cool over the over the break? I, I really enjoyed the break. I mean, it was it was. Uh, I don't remember taking that long of a break, like ever. Because well, I've you been, always worked the other jobs. Yeah, I always worked oh, other yeah. jobs, and it was very like short those breaks. Um. And maybe last year, I think I only took like a week or something, something because of, I don't know, I, I, I was coming in a lot. But yeah, I really enjoyed and played so much Elden Ring. Oh, really? Christmas oh, break. Wow. Yeah. yeah, you know, I played some video games over the break. I was uh, saying that I uh, quit God of War and I was just, infinite. I'm about to I was start so it. fucking bored by that game, like so bored. <laughs> and everyone else has them crazy. So I don't know what the I, fuck I, I played. I beat it. It was cool. Oh, I haven't played it yet. But uh, uh, the first too. half was padded with a lot of crap. Okay, there's uh, a but I I liked where this and I was famously crit. I was well not famously. None of my fucking review wasn't famous, but I was uh, <laughs> I I was outspoken about um, being uh, not the biggest fan of the first one. Sure, uh, I felt like the story plateaued, but this one it actually built to something interesting. Cool. Yeah. It still wasn't my favorite, but. Um, uh, yeah, the first half had a lot of, had had filler in it that I was. There like, was not a part where you're it. with a girl and she's yeah. riding her yak. That was around, super boring. Yeah, and it was like three hours. But when I play this, when I would play, it'd be like me and Beckett would have like I don't know, probably like forty five minutes to play. Yeah, yeah. An, uh, every other night, mm -hmm. and so I mean, it was like oh two weeks before we could finish the yak part. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. so it's shit. a week, yeah. two weeks of yak. And yeah, it's, it's like okay, it's, uh, fuck this game. So. Are you doing side missions or just story? No, I was trying to, I was trying to get through it, and then <laughs> so finally I was like, hey Beckett, like we gotta be close. Like, can you see how much longer we have? Like, go to a walkthrough, and he's like, it looks like we're halfway. I'm like, halfway. No, ha no, halfway through the game. The game that wasn't even close to halfway. No, I, I didn't stop there. I stopped. I went way further than that. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, I feel okay, like okay. that kind of ruins games for me. I don't look at how much farther I have. I'll just go like, I think this is wrapping up, 
And yeah. then sometimes Johnny, I'll say that to him. He'll give me a side eye like. <laughs> I yeah. did. Okay. I did during this game because I, I was feeling in that first half similar thoughts. Yeah. I really was feeling like, uh, okay, how much of this is like kind of padded out like this? Like his whole game like this? I really, I really am not trying to be whatever. The second half was paced much better yeah. and was a lot more fun. I'm not, I'm not saying like you gotta go back and play, but uh, uh, I enjoyed it more than the first one. Um, okay. Like I said, I just felt like the first one didn't have anywhere to go. Once you knew that conceit, there was like a cool moment in the middle, but it just was like, hmm. you know what? It yeah. just didn't. It, oh, we got to go up there, and they do, and okay. But this one was consistently surprising me. Mm. Um, I mean, there's a chance we'll get back to it, but yeah. I find it hard. Uh, just just know that if you do, it's I think it's better. way more exciting. Well, that's good. As it goes on. There were some things that happened in it I did not expect. Okay. Uh, that being said, when it ended, it still, to me, didn't have like, wow, what an ending. It, it, was, it was good, but it you know it's like, oh, but play more. And uh, I still, I'm going to do, uh, there's one post-game thing I still need to do. Um, but, uh, they're, they're not my favorite of the, of the Sony catalog, but I, I did enjoy this one a lot more. So okay. I was glad I, I also I don't know. I, it was on sale on the Nintendo eShop and I have, I never played it, but we had a video about it. So yeah. I'm like, I'm going to, it was a dollar, I think. And I, I played and beat Limbo and that key was great. Yeah. Oh, I've yeah good. I, I really it. liked it. And it's like one of those like super short, you know, like you die a thousand times yeah. type of game, but it yeah. was really awesome. And then I was like. Went back to our video. I was like, Garrett, that spider you made was really uh, uh, good. Uh, it was just like the game. <laughs> it was really good. They, That's did, cool. yeah. they did a newer Thank you. game recently that I bought on Switch because that was on sale for like a couple bucks called Inside. Yeah, I've heard of that. Oh. And everyone was like, dude, it's only three hours. Like, you'll love it. But I, I have, it's pretty similar. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, that gameplay, I, I, it, it's only three hours. And I sort of got, I'm like, I got through two and I was like, I'm good. Okay. Mm. But it wasn't bad. I just, yeah. It wasn't my kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. Uh, but people swear by that. You might want to check. I'll that check out. out inside. Yeah. I mean, I loved Limbo. It was good. Kevin, yeah. you play anything? Uh, I didn't play much over the break because I was in the UK. What? So I couldn't. I, I didn't lug my PS5 you over there or anything like that. You didn't bring the Steam Deck? No. Actually, I didn't bring my Steam Deck. What? I Whoa. Uh, what? I can't believe. Why? Well, why? I don't know why. Um, <laughs> when mistake. I'm When I'm like on a plane, I don't want to play video games. Like, sure. I, and, I, and I tend to play like all those at home for some reason i i I've, i know i've said this before that handheld gaming is my favorite when i'm curled up in bed or on a couch playing it but not like it's like a good book but you have to be at home like but i don't do it as a travel thing i like Th this is I our biggest sh schism yeah is that how you say that word <laughs> i used to yeah. say schism and i yeah. guess that wasn't right schism. I, i'm the total opposite yeah. i i get things done i look forward to a long play right because then i can beat yeah a game. i can't uh, i have no desire to play a game on a plane I, for some reason i don't know why for me I, even when i bring it i go i didn't touch my switch uh like, i never touch it on the plane either yeah. and it's for me it's because i'm too anxious on the plane I mean, that's oh, okay. not your problem no think. no no I'm uncomfortable, and yeah, yeah I, I, I get more uncomfortable having to like hold a portable. Yeah. So I, I'm the same way, but I, I would bring it and then like never use it in the hotel either. Yeah. I just like on planes, I like to just pop in earbuds and then turn off. Yeah. Like. Yeah. But but when you're in, you know, on vacation too, you're doing stuff. You so were yeah. in the UK for not just like a second. You were there for a bit. Yeah. You know, like a couple weeks. A couple weeks. So like you feel like you would just at some point have. I'm I'm just surprised yeah. you didn't bring your team. I would have beaten like three games. Yeah. <laughs> That's what confounds me. He was taking um, in a did new, it snow? A did you have but a light? I, it but a I was rained. I was like trained from beginning with that. We had the Game Boy when it came out, and it was like, oh, I've got an extra hour. We're we're gonna be waiting here for okay. And I would I, I like I've been in that mode yeah. since I was a I've never had child. that mode. Or, or like using games to kill time and stuff like that. I've yeah. never I never if been that into. That has something to do with it because yeah, I would get super car sick playing Game Boy. Oh yeah, maybe. but I would always try to play Game Boy whenever we took a tr uh -huh. drive anywhere. Yeah. It was closest like, thing I got is I got a Sega Nomad when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. Okay, and they, uh, I got, I was like, I played that in the car a bit. Yeah, and I brought that to school a couple of times, and I was like the coolest kid. I remember oh. everybody's just like, "What is that? A Nomad? <laughs> yeah, 
That that was one I only played at home because the battery lasted about eight minutes. Yeah, so it was four like, C's. I, yeah, you know you couldn't four even charge C's? it. Something yeah, crazy. Yeah, it, it was like it was like eight double A's. It was oh like, I don't, Jesus! I don't have any more. Right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> mom and dad won't get me more than batteries. <laughs> it was seriously like we bought you all these batteries. Okay, I need more. I took batteries that remote. Now they're not talking to me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emptied every remote. <laughs> but I did get video games for Christmas that oh. I I collect games. So I got a Neo Geo Pocket Color for my wife. Oh, oh nice. nice! Shit, love that. And uh, got a game for it. I got Metal Slug. Yeah, Metal Slug for it, and uh, that was cool. I like. Hell that. yeah! Yeah, nice. Um, there's some new handheld. Maybe I don't know if anybody in the chat will know what it's called, but there's a new handheld where you could play. It's a lot of arcade classics. Really? A handheld came out. Is it Evercade? Um, maybe that's what it is. Because there is one that's like a bunch of games that you can get for one. And like, you could buy cartridges for yeah, it. You've seen that? I think that's that, what it I is. I think it's called Evercade. They sell it at GameStop too. Okay, no but, yeah. uh, but yes, I have seen this. My, uh, my brother for Christmas was like, he's never, I don't know, he never has, I always have, there's, you know, uh, there's a lot of things I collect. So if you're asking me what I want for Christmas, I can name a hundred things. But yeah. my brother is always like, you know, oh, there might be one. He's a little more reserved with that. And he said, "For Christmas, that's all I want. Like that, and the and those cartridges. cartridges. Yeah. Oh, he's wanted that for a while. Mm -hmm. And it was really funny. Uh, Christmas came, went to see our family, opened the presents. My mom and dad got it. It's like boom, boom, boom. Every cartridge they make for, for that they make. Yeah. It was like he's like, oh my god. Did, I don't have the oh. do you, <laughs> the system. Yeah, it was like, did you get him the system? What system? The, <laughs> Uh, you need a thing for you it's need a, a thing for these. This is like oh, classic. I didn't know that. Oh, I, mm. and then it was like oh no, Dominic. So we all looked it up. It was sold out. Oh, ever. It shit. was like back ordered. Oh, get it in March. Merry, get it oh, Merry oh, Christmas, oh, Dominic. Oh. Yeah, we were all just like oh, uh, okay. Merry Christmas, Dominic. But you, got but, to to. you know what they what? but but uh, he put in an order or I don't know if. My family did it or he did. It, I don't remember. Uh, and actually, when everyone came back from the holidays, it, oh, it's not going to ship in March. It's going to ship right now. So he got it days oh, yeah, later. Cool, cool. Right. It worked out. But man, for a minute, it was like, oh, what? OK, it was <laughs> it was a, it was a little hilarious. <laughs> um, but anyway, that sucks. yeah. Uh, anyway, but that was uh, I'm trying yeah. to think anything else I did, though. Uh, I really didn't like our break last year was. My, my break was kind of messed up at the end of 21 going into 22 because we did our tour and it went right up to finishing our movie and putting yeah. that out. Yeah, all of And then we once. had to finish Todd and, our Todd and Aaron video that year. So my Christmas break last year got all derailed because it was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to like come in. Like yeah. I it, it was kind of a mess. So this year I took every opportunity to just be lazy. Oh, my God. I watched so many shows and like I didn't do really do shit. Oh. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of like even a lot of times, sometimes I'll go out to like theme parks or something like that. But I was like blocked out this year. It, yeah. didn't, it didn't work out. I, I just you know, didn't do anything. It was great. The yeah, one it feels thing, great not doing anything. The, it does. It truly yeah. does. And the one thing I asked for on my Christmas New Year's break was like, hey, Trish, can we have one day during the break where we don't leave the house? Yeah. Just one uh -huh. day where we I don't, don't do leave the house. Yeah. And I, it's like I fucking jinxed myself because she looked at me like, really? Like, you can't, we can't walk the dogs even. I'm like, I mean, we can walk the dogs every day, but for one of them, can we just not? So we just stay home all day. That would be great. Yeah. You don't even have to. I'm just saying I want to do this. Yeah. And sure enough, it never fucking happened. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Every day at some point, like I had to leave. To do something, go grocery no shopping, kidding. get a burrito. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. A terrible. I'll get a burrito. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you I pour want. You. It's not. Uber listen, eats. listen, listen. Uh, uh, I get the. I'm hungry. I'm like, okay, I'll go get burritos. But like, I wanted a day to not leave, but it yeah. just, it just that's never. When you order the food, bring it to yourself. It never aligned. Yeah, I don't. I don't fuck with Postmates. <laughs> I don't fuck with that either. I don't fuck with that. I don't um, fuck with that. Yeah. No, my break was, uh, it was nice. A lot of family time, which is good. Um, you know, Jenny and the kids went back to school before we all came back. So I came in and I kind of worked 
by myself for a little bit here and mostly you know kevin was gone so doing some merch stuff and well patreon got stuff the patreon too. stuff yeah. and at the last day derek and garrett came in and we got all the the that package out so hopefully you have that by now and sub to us on patreon thank you yeah thank um you. but yeah no it was it was a nice it was a good time it was i mean there's something about like your kids on christmas morning like it is like the best like just hearing mm. you know like them like Oh my god, he came! Oh my god, he's here! There's new, pre- there's new presents. There's presents. Santa definitely came. There's cookies, they're gone. Cookies are gone. Like oh, it's cookies like you, are gone. He you ate them. Hear that, and it's just like, oh fuck yeah, okay. This is, it's all about this moment right here. Yeah. So it was nice. That's cool. Um, I don't know why that this thought to me came to me, but last night, this is not about anything else. So forgive me. I am asleep in bed, and I just feel a pinch on my foot, and I have this thing as, like you on know, the toe or on the just, what? I'm like just like. The meat part of my foot, like oh, right yeah. by my toes, is like you know, and like I said before, like my feet get hot, so my feet are never in the covers; they're always oh. hanging out of the bed. And my heart like skipped five beats. It was yeah. like that's terrible. <gasps> what the fuck is that? And I looked up, and it was Sawyer, and she's like, I, "My throat's itchy. Can I get?" I'm like, "Oh, <gasps> <laughs> why <gasps> not like shake or daddy or like anything?" But I guess she, she said foot. she didn't want to wake up Jenny, so she thought she'd wake me up. Yeah. But just, so like, did you wake up Jenny <laughs> with, you, with your? Yeah. Like, <gasps> <laughs> what is that? Oh, Dude, Sawyer? What? I, I've been witness to this wake up, like just <laughs> in general, because Sean's uh, standard wake up, in, you don't even have to pinch him. Just go, hey, hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. It's always, <gasps> <gasps> I'm awake. <laughs> like every yeah. time. Yeah. Trust me, it, that's not annoying to people in my house at all. Like, no. <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah, so I wake up at a 10. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And so, anyways, so like I get her thing. She falls back asleep in 30 seconds. I'm up until like three in the morning. Yeah. I'm just like, my heart's Adrenaline like Adrenaline spike. Yeah. yeah. It's like woke up. And you, can't, yeah. you can't come back down. That's yeah. You know what? Up. I can sleep through a lot of stuff, but when something really wakes me up like that, yeah. I'm kind of, I got to get up. Someone's mm. wiggling your like, toes. I, it's hard for me to just, well, back to sleep. I, I really usually am like, well, fuck, I'm up now. Yeah. Better. Just a little hand pinch in my foot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can go right back, right back you to could? sleep. No matter what. Man. Yeah, superpower, man. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't do it on a plane, but yeah. Anyways, uh, hopefully you stayed tuned with us all week. We've had our, yes. we had so many streams this week that Gosh. I thought were yeah. awesome. Yeah. It was so We've fun been, coming sure, back yeah. from the vacation to do MLK week, which was like, oh shit, that's like right here, guys. Yeah. 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 It was kind of rude awakening. It snuck up we, on us. Because it was, it as soon as we got back. Are you ready to stream for a full week? Oh, what? No, that's now. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, we. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it was a little bit, a little bit of a getting cold water splash on your face. Yeah. yeah. But, we did um, it. Johnny did a great job making all the. Uh, Johnny was killing bumpers it. and everything like that. Yeah. yeah. Johnny was making all kinds of great stuff. Um. I, I sopped up the vomit from the Hanukkah cast, and it was <laughs> off to the races. Yeah, like yeah nothing yeah. happened. Yeah, we didn't even talk post we Hanukkah cast. We yeah. didn't. Oh shit, we've yeah. not done any of that. Well, stuff. you're looking at the new champion right here. What more do you need to know? I, <laughs> I'm glad we, we finally the did it. I think Ryan yeah. Did. yeah, thank you, chat. Ryan's comments. I yeah. think no need. Ryan Sold. was legitimately mad. Oh, you don't say and sad. First off, when he saw that I was on his team, he was not. He's like, "You sabotaged me," which hurt my feelings That's a little bit. Not, yeah, but we were trying. Yeah. To, we were trying to break up the groups perfectly, where I, everyone had a tight. I in their thought group. it was balanced. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I thought I so too. Did yeah, and I thought like, yeah, I'm not the best eater, but I. <laughs> but I see, give it my when, all. When he announces the team, and then Ryan just goes, <laughs> "I've been sabotaged." Yeah, it's it's like, like, I swear to it's God. Like, oh, I, thank you, thank you, Meg. Thank I you, also Sean. would like to win the <laughs> Amazon gift card. I swear to you. <laughs> he yeah. he thinks I had two titans, as you say, on my team. He thinks that I was stacked because oh. he had heard that Goose is this ace in the hole. Yeah, you might have been a little. Uh, I'm just no, saying, you know, I see, maybe I see you as side to that. Goose Richard, I just had a great team. And what it was was our organization and our teamwork is what pushed us through because we really balanced the load between three well, stomachs. Goose was saying after that, you know, eating weird stuff yeah. is what is what was I, I think I think I feel like it was That's what she excels at. Yeah. That's what Wes told mm-hmm. us too. Yeah, and, and, and so it was like, oh, we're seeing a lot. Oh, I can eat like She's like, one time I ate like a blended up five dollar bill, or something. like I do that. <laughs> like I don't, yeah. I don't want to do oh like a lot. Oh, so like I don't know if it yeah. was necessarily an ace in the hole. I think no. it was just 
No, that's what I'm saying. Like R- Ryan has no real. Yeah. And uh, I legitimately you know, say tried my absolute you did. best. I did, and we lost. You popped before anyone. You you tried so hard, you vomited. Yeah. Well, Frank beat me to yeah, that. Yeah, Frank actually. Oh, he but did. He did. I, oh. I want to say really quick. Grape juice and I don't know dog. if I said it live or that's not, right. but Richard yeah. on your team, yeah, is a nurse. Yeah. In real life, and like. In in a second, turn to nurse mode when yeah. I was throwing up. You okay? It and was it so could, great having him here. It yeah. couldn't have been. I'm. Ne- <laughs> I've never thrown up. I'm under better circumstances in my life. Because normally you throw up here and like you know, or he's like laughing. fuck you, ah, zooming like ah, whatever. Yeah. And Richard's like, hey man, you okay? Are you feeling a little hot? Is it hot breath coming out or cold breath? You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you water. <laughs> I'll hold the bucket for you. I'm gonna That's hold your so bucket. Funny. It's not gross to me. I see it every day. Yeah. No problem at all. Yeah. Don't feel bad. What I'm going to do is get a paper towel, but I want you to just relax, close your eyes for 30 seconds. Oh, Richard's like, so good. It was so like yeah. comforting, and like yeah. Yeah. I felt better, and yeah. I, I, I wasn't ever like panicked that I was no, going No, no, no. But it was like, oh, okay, I'll do what you tell me to, and I felt like instantly better, and I was like, dude, thank God for Richard being there. Like, yeah, what a no hero. The bedside awesome. manner, man. So That's nice. Great. That guy's always been a good dude. He, oh, legitimately oh, always. 100%. The first time I ever met him <laughs> was we played Airsoft together. Yeah. Way back. I mean, well, I, the first place you met him was Tayuk. Or no, um, Anime Kanji. Anime that's Kanji. true. Oh, that's really? true. That's Jeff Foxworthy jokes. And the uh, of his crew in the first front time I ever row. hung out with him outside yeah, of the con. We all played Airsoft. I Airsoft. And uh, I mean, I, when was the last time I played Airsoft? And that was like one oh, time. I would say one I played like, play like one or two. Did you? Okay. I think cool. so. But that was probably 2007. Yeah. Maybe eight. Maybe. But uh, I forget. There's some lingo where it's like, you let someone know you're right there not to shoot them. Oh, parlay. Parlay. He said that, and I jumped and shot him right in the hand at, like, point-blank range. Oh, <laughs> the hand hurts so bad, too. Oh. The hand is the worst. And every time I see him, I think, like, oh, I just fucked up your hand that one time. I feel really oh, bad about shit. that. <laughs> parlay. Boom. <laughs> uh, I will say the food was stellar. So good. The, so good. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I didn't, we, I, you know. I'll just speak for myself. I didn't have much to do with any of that stuff. It really, Derek put yeah. a lot of that together mm-hmm. for getting the food together. Oh, yeah. Um, my only regret legitimately is I knew ahead of time, oh, he ordered Katz's Deli from New York. Like, we yeah. had it. We had that shit flown in. Ooh. And it was, I was like, this is going to be the best Christmas cast ever. I did Hanukkah cast, whatever. I, I didn't know kind of what else was going on with it, but mm-hmm. I knew he ordered that. Yeah. And my only regret is, yeah, I ate a bunch of pastrami part of the competition, but I should, I wanted to make sandwiches. I yeah. wanted to do, enjoy do it. All that. And I'm seriously thinking like I should order it again. Um, just I, oh, I am going to, I, oh, because yeah. going to. I didn't get like, I didn't do any of the pastrami. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wasn't in that part, yeah. but all like all the other stuff. I'm like, I want to order some. That's, uh, I want to, I, I want to order some just, yeah. just to have in yeah. the house to have a meal. I said it before, but Sean got me that for Christmas yeah. Yeah. Than one year. And that, I think that was the all time greatest gift. Yeah. Like it's, it was yeah. a week of just having a, a deli from across the country yeah. in my kitchen. Mm-hmm. It was incredible. It was amazing. Every I, year I try to think like, I'm not going to do that again. I did that once, but I really feel like, what am I doing? He loved it so much. Why not just so buy that again? Sean, if that was my Christmas yeah, present yearly? Every, year. every year till I die, you, you'll I hear think zero just, complaints from me. Let me say here now, I'm just going to do that. Remember, yeah. put this in your calendar. I'm going to, because it's like, I'm always yeah. like stressed like what to get at Rocco. You I, are. I would, that would be, I'm just I mean, going to do that. Every year, Kevin presents me with a plate of his cookies. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And it's like, hey, I love it too. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm right. not, I'm not even one percent less happy than the year before. <laughs> okay. I'm happier every time. It. Well, let Those me say cookies. here and now, Rocco, from here on out, that will be your present Sounds good. from me. Let's okay. start Done. this week. I was in the UK <laughs> on Cassie's Deli website. Okay. okay, if I order it now, it'll probably get there before I get back. <laughs> you're gonna race. I'm, you're I'm gonna, gonna race the I'm planes, gonna wait. The... I'm gonna wait, and then I'm gonna wait till I get back. So yeah. I'm planning soon to make an order of that. I should I, do I that. Cannot wait. I'm bummed I didn't get to try certain things. Yeah, because I wasn't in that round. You know, I yeah. do feel like so when I ate the pastrami, I knew I couldn't eat that whole pound. Yeah, so I purposely put a a part aside and i'm like i'm not gonna touch that side i'm gonna give it to so like i because johnny was starving yeah yeah and so i'm like hey johnny here's i told him uh, like this was on my plate i swear to god i didn't touch it <laughs> yeah you can have it if you want it if you don't want it i get it yeah. like, no one spit I, I th- water you ate it right johnny oh, yeah yeah it was really good it was Thank good you. okay good all right cool yeah. but yeah yeah exactly oh by the way really quick i threw up because of the pizza 
because Ryan dumped water all over it. <laughs> and, and it, it was, was soggy, soggy pizza. It was soggy pizza. <laughs> and I was already. Why would that make you throw? I was, he, soggy pizza. It sounds like you got sabotaged. You guys told yeah, me that. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah. You guys told me that. Yeah, he dumped water all over the pizza in that round. And yeah. I don't know why he would have done that. To soak up the bread, I think, to make it easier to eat. To make it easier to eat. to eat or something like that. That's, but <laughs> if that's his tactic, it's not. In retrospect, no. it made it harder to eat. Yeah. It made it harder. You well, don't want to eat it. It's not I think it made it easier for him. Yeah, yeah that's not Whereas Megan, Megan and I are fucking gross It's so out. gross. Ah, it sounds, ah, like, uh, sounds like he's not like, a team player. I want what anyone want to, oh, what I want someone to do. Teams fucked up. I want you to get to your absolute fullest that you've ever been. Then get a pizza and dump water on it, Cold and then water. see if you can eat that two pieces of pizza like that. Because yeah. I guarantee you can. A soggy <laughs> slice of pizza. It was so gross. That uh, I think oh, that it was shit. the consistency of like I went like this to take a bite, and it dripped water into my mouth from the pizza. And, <laughs> and I thought, like, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> like, can't do it. <laughs> I'm barfing. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. So That's yeah, Ryan nasty. sabotaged himself. But the food was overall great. Yeah, yeah it, it was. was. The, it was the first Christmas cast where I felt like it. I actually it met both sides of like I I pushed myself and had a lot of crazy shit. Yeah. But it was all uh, delicious too. Yeah. Like 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 it. We didn't. I mean, it was a it was a brutal show. But it, you know what I mean? But the food being good, it didn't take away from the competition. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. both columns were met. I was I, very happy. You know, <laughs> I do think that I love the team format. I think yeah. that was a good change and like sure. you know like doc ryan legitimately is a force of nature when it comes to eating yeah. competitions mm -hmm. even when he had to drink the grape juice and he did the the, the turn the, the turn that yeah, it like that fun was, but he I was able to that. swallow i mean he ate how did he do that that's what wrecked me that he, bottle yeah. of grape juice he, he went hard and he goes so hard that it, it really like it wasn't until we split us up and made yeah. it so like okay like it's got to be one of them. One I of their teams say, has to win. We didn't change that just for Doc Ryan. Like no, he we thought. Didn't. We just wanted to make it a new, fresh thing, which I thought was yeah. great. And we, I was like, there was no eliminations. Yeah, like, we that will was say, good. even in the meeting, we didn't care if he won again. Like, we weren't yeah. trying to stack the deck or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but, we just wanted to make it, uh, to be honest, like, you know, I there. You know, we always get feedback on, like, uh, mm. Oh, you know, the older ones are so much more fun and whatever. Yeah. The last couple of years, it was like, well, yeah, what's missing here? What's missing here? And I know there's some people who just want us to fucking eat poison and throw up. I get, <laughs> I get, I get that. And I, I, I totally do. I'm not even being a, a dick here. I get it. But you really see this year. It's like, yeah, for the past two fucking years, we couldn't have people in here. Yeah, like yeah, last yeah, year, yeah. last minute, we scrapped guests coming in. We had a couple people show up. Yeah. But that was it. Um, it really is a different show when you have lots of people lots here. Lots of energy. The audience. Every, yeah. yeah, it changes the energy completely. Yeah. And so we did the team-based thing because we had so many people here. Yeah. And it it was so fun. It, it was, was so, so much, fun. much fun. Yeah. I can't see going back like that just was yeah. something I'm going to look forward to. Like, I can't wait till Yeah, it year. really is different with an audience. Yeah, and a, 100%. And a full house, Dude, so yeah. It. yeah. It, it, it's so funny how COVID made me, like, miss, like, things I didn't realize I'd miss. Like, yeah. Things like that, where yeah. it's like, you know, I'm even thinking, like, I, I, I just being on this podcast set is like, this truly is like, oh, thank God. I know yeah. it's been so long, yeah. but, like, man, <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. It's just nice to see people again. Screen? Yeah, me on the green screen. They're just, scared to be here. Couldn't yeah. hear you. That was the worst. I know. Of it. You didn't. We like kept that at talking. All. We kept talking over each other. <laughs> I didn't mind. I didn't mind you being on green screen back when we were doing those shows. Yeah. Because you were still here. Yeah. I mean, sometimes the wall being there was a little. So we tried to fix that. But yeah. uh, you being in here, I didn't think it was so bad. It was to me. It was video calls to yeah. people at tough. home. Was like, huh? What? Yeah. Oh, I was just gonna say I did what? I was just gonna say I did, I had the same thing happen. What thing happened? The and then there's lag. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was like, I don't <laughs> yeah. want to have any more video calls, please. Oh, my yeah. God. That, yeah, was, that was driving me nuts. I avoided I had to do that once for like a doctor visit, but I had avoided Zoom throughout the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Tough. Real quick, <laughs> I want to pause for just a second. Okay. Um, jo Johnny, do you have a mic? Yeah. You I do? do. Okay. Yep. You're going to need it. Okay. Uh -oh. In about two <laughs> seconds. Uh -oh. Get mic'd up. You better get, get uh, start saying you're... Uh, uh, What's a vocal warm-up? Good blood, bad Good blood. Start getting those ready because you're going to have to deliver in a That's second. A right. I slit a sheet. 
Start doing that, John. I'm a not hearing you. I uh, um, Sally sold seashells. No, that's no, not right that's now. Johnny, I have things to say. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, do, do that on your own time. <laughs> He's um, talking. He's talking, bro. He's talking. <laughs> but get ready because I'm going to come to you in a second. But for right now, I wanted to give a shout out to our sponsor this week, shop.mega64.com. Shout out. Actually, yeah. hold on. Oh. I want to thank an, uh, a sponsor for previous shows, Tenga. Mm, yeah. They sent the nicest new year's like gift box really? a gift what? box to us Where it was a it? new year's thing i think it, year of the rabbit right yeah. yeah and it was all it was a, in a wooden box it what? was like etched it had it's etched so whatever. weird how so we're all made about this here. for the first time yeah, i swore i brought it in I did. every single person yeah. here has never heard I'm, or seen this box until now i misplaced yeah. it weird my but, tanga egg from 2020 is getting worn the fuck out <laughs> <laughs> And, I, and there's a new <laughs> box showing up in 2022. So uh, they were a great sponsor. And even, you know, we, we hadn't had them on the last few shows. They still sent such a kind and awesome gift. To Rocco. So, and Rocco only. No, no, no. I'll get it. I'll, uh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if I want it I don't now. know if I want it now. <laughs> yeah, geez. Um, but anyway, shout out to them. We got, we'll got we get yeah. them back on the show Thank at some point. But anyway, but I want to say thanks to our sponsor this week, shop.mega64.com. Uh as we mentioned, we've been streaming 24-7. Every time, uh, every year when MLK Day comes around, we have that day off and we start to stream all day and it turns into all week. Um, and uh, we did that again this time and we yeah. had a limited edition merch drop that went up during uh, our stream this week. And it's going to be up not much longer. Whenever the stream goes down, I don't know when exactly it's going to go down, but probably soon because we have a lot yeah. going on here at the studio. Uh, when that goes down, the, the, the merch drop goes down too. If you didn't get to pick up that merch drop, all the items are there. We got a booklet uh, by uh, Dr. Scrape. I don't really know kind of who that is, but I guess he's got a lot of self-help. We got a little uh, like pamphlet book kind of zine. It's kind of a zine. It's kind of a zine. Um, yeah. That he did. Uh, the, the Mucho Gusto poster, Love Mucho that. Gusto shirt, celebrating yes. one of our favorite songs. Um, I don't know who that guy is on the shirt down there in the corner, but no it seems like a shady character. And the frogs, worms, whatever, I don't know what those are. You can get a sticker of them, a shirt of them, whatever you want. But all of that stuff is going to go away as soon as the stream goes down. So yeah. pick up our new merch drop, shop.megasystem. Before it goes away forever. And you can support us through Patreon, patreon.com slash mega64. We've got two exclusive shows every week, plus in between those, stuff from the vault. And, and I'm talking deep in the vault. Over uh, the last couple of weeks, we put up a uh, sort of a vlog from 2005 where me, Sean, Eric, and Brian are in my old backyard playing with illegal explosives. I, what? <laughs> That's, Wait, what? Uh, that is, you can go watch that now. What? I mean, let me be real. And when I say literally no other Patreon could offer you such yes. material. I want to see that. young Eric and Brian. Like, yeah. Why not me? Well, I, I was, see young you all the time. That. Yeah. Uh, no, but uh, <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. So we've got uh, episodes of Movie Club. We just did the John Wick episode. We actually put that one public. So mm. even if you're not a sub to the Patreon, you can uh, check out what check you it missing. out and see for yourself. And you'll get you get that every week. So that's like another podcast. Um, and uh, friend to mention, we just did a new one where we played the blockbuster game, the official blockbuster. That was game. so fun. A yeah. uh, lot of movie trivia, a lot of acting out amazing scenes and even improving them, doing them better than the actors. Yeah. Liam Neeson kind of looked like shit. After and that guess what? I remembered every actor's first and last name. Yep. Perfect. Mm. Got them all right. Did. So check it out. Patreon.com slash Mega64. Um, yeah. And as I, you know, I said on the pre-show, like I can't emphasize enough how much like this all helps us do what we do and provide yes. this stuff to yeah. you. And yeah. like, uh, it means a lot to us. So the Patreon like legitimately helps us like keep the lights on, you know, the merch help it all, it all comes in. Help. Yes. We use it all. It goes a long way. It all. Twitch subs is also a huge thing. Like, thank you all for just watching us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, people have been subbing all week with our streams and yeah. I really appreciate that. So thank so you. Stoked. Thank you very much for, and for watching all week too. Yeah. Um, okay. Johnny went off to the East coast over the break. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know the whole story. I want to know what went down on the East Coast, good and bad. I want to know family drama. <laughs> I want to know. Um, Did you see a lot of family? Over yeah, I want to uh, know kind of what bad shit you got up to <laughs> on the East Coast. Did you get hit by the storm? Did you get through? hit by the storm? What pizza did you eat and how often did you eat it? Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, 
I did see a lot of family. I did get hit by that storm a little bit. You really? Okay. okay. Uh, it snowed a little bit. It got really cold. Yeah. Were people acting a little bit like it was apocalyptic, kind of? No, I mean, like, I didn't see much. I, yeah. Oh, okay. I, I just kind of stayed did inside. Did you shovel the yeah, driveway for your mother? Fuck no. <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> it didn't snow that much. Oh, okay. okay. A little um, snow. Little that's snow. good, because it sounded gnarly from over here. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say real quick in response to that. It was pretty. It's been pretty cold here the last couple mm -hmm. months yeah. for California. Yeah, for California, you know, in like the forties. Yeah. yeah, you know, cold for now. us that's cold. Well, that's that's as cold as it gets, and I'm not dealing with anything fucking colder. Yeah, yeah, that's and not what. And I don't want to hear about how it gets colder where you live. Yeah, yeah I don't, that's don't not know. what we're acclimated that's, to. That's not. I the, pay an insane amount of money to live. You know, where it doesn't do that. Yes, yeah. we pay a premium for that. Should be seventy but, all the time. Anyway. But it was pretty. It was almost like God was making a joke when Christmas came because <laughs> yeah. for some reason it was cold <laughs> leading up to Christmas. Christmas Day, it was like 88 degrees. Yeah, it was, <laughs> so it was like, yo, what the fuck is happening? I'm baking. And then day after Christmas, yeah, it's starting to get cold again. Yeah, oh, it's raining. <laughs> Like what happened? Here's three I, weeks of rain. I was messaging with Johnny, like, "Hey, Merry Christmas! Hoping you're, you know, hope you're having a good one. How's it over there?" And he's like, "People are kind of acting, like, you know, like, you know, it's gonna be bad, but we're bundled up. We're okay." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's like 88. What the yeah. fuck?" Anyway, yeah. <laughs> and now the news was going off about the East Coast, like it's bad, it's bad. Anyway, it's 88 here. Anyway, Johnny, sorry, I didn't mean to derail you. No, it's all good. Uh, I'm trying to think of like weird things that happen. I went to Asbury Park. Uh, to oh, a game cool. store called, I think, Kill Screen Games. Okay. Oh, and uh, I walked in, and immediately I looked up. They had like a screen playing. Yeah. Uh, stuff, and then I just see Garrett and Sean on the screen. What? what? They were playing the podcast. What? Uh, at a at a game what? store? Yeah. Our podcast. Yeah. And I oh, I walked cool. up to the counter and I was like, uh, hey, I work on that. And then the one guy was like, oh shit. I thought that was you, dude. Ah! I, yo, shouts out That's Kill awesome. Screen. They were playing something you produced. Hey, yeah. If you're if you're in Kill Screen uh, in Asbury Park right now, buy something. Yeah. You know, help these guys buy out. Buy something, and I'm pretty sure they told me it's me 50 percent off uh, right now. So <laughs> no, I don't no. say that. No. Go to uh, the register. This is being broadcast somewhere in the future in this store. That's amazing. Uh, but they said they had all uh, all the people that worked there had gone to the show in Asbury Park. Oh, and they were like, we hey, went there on our tour. Grace. Yeah, and they, they begged for us to come back. So, you know, hopefully in the oh, future. Yeah. Okay, maybe okay. one day. That's so cool. Kill Screen Games, you said? I think that's what it's called. If it's not, that's a huge bummer for them. But yeah. I hope Kill Screen Games shuts <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else weird that happened. You, I, oh, oh. Hold on. Do you have oh. a good pizza? Get to the pizza. Oh, uh, what's going on with the pizza? Get to the pizza. I didn't. You know what? I didn't eat a lot of pizza. Didn't <gasps> you go one place that was like twenty dollars for a slice? Oh yeah, yeah. What yeah. was that? <laughs> what? Uh, I forgot what that place is called, but it's in Union Square. They put okay. a. Uh, I forget the name of the cheese. It's like a cheese ball, but it's like birra. Okay. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Yeah. But they put that on the pizza. The slice is like five bucks without that. 20 bucks with it. What? what? Yeah, what? it added so much fucking money. Oh my. Did you try it? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> was it that good? It's I, like, yeah, uh, 20 bucks. $20 it was ball? very good, but I did the whole time being like, damn, I did. I don't even want to spend $20 on a pizza. On yeah. a single <laughs> slice. Uh, pizza. But, no, five, but dude. when you're presented with a rare opportunity like yeah, that. That's how they yeah. get you, dude. I've had that happen. Oh. I had that happen to me in Japan where I got sushi and it was like pretty good price. And it was like. But do you want it? This do you want to try this one fish that we never have, and it's like thirty bucks for this? One, it's just like a couple pieces. I'm like, no. And then I'm like, well, I'll never have it again. Yeah, I can't even tell you the name of what that fish was. Was it even so good? Like, oh, it was very good, okay. but but it wasn't like, fuck! I can't enjoy other sushi now. It yeah, was like yeah. you know, it was fine. But but that sounded that. Twenty dollars sounded. Yeah, you know, that does sound really pizza. good. Jimmy. I did a really expensive dinner over the mm. over the break. Yeah, really. Yeah. And that was kind of like that. my engineers, like eh, I'm not maybe a present to each other, but we went with friends, and it was yeah, like, yeah. Uh, but it was like you know you pay before type of situation where it's oh. like oh, it's this much for the experience. It's a yeah, five course it's gonna meal, be courses. Yeah, oh. you know whatever. Sure. I've only done that once. I had never done anything like that before. Okay. So, but we get there. And yeah, they have the menu and you can choose the courses. Mm. But the first thing was an amuse bouche. And that is like <laughs> what? And Wasn't that a I comedy show? It, yeah, amazing bouche. Yeah. I love that show. No, amuse bouche is like bouche. it's like a treat for your mouth. You know, it's like a, a amusement for your mouth is what they're basically. What is like uh, pop rocks? Mouth. Do they bring out pop rocks or something? No, it's like a hey, here's a little taste to get you started. But it was like the amuse bouche was caviar. <laughs> it was caviar. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of dope. 
in a, a little teeny tiny spoon, yeah, and it awesome. was a hundred dollars mm. to add on to your already. Wait, did you meal. do that? No, nope. fuck no, I didn't. Nope. What if it was that? good? Yeah, right. Who Dude, cares? Sean would hey, rather I'm jump sorry. in a fountain. <laughs> I would. Sorry, I, I don't mean to derail, but every time someone brings up caviar, I think about the video game press event we went to, where they had actually had some kind of gourmet. It was pizza, pizza. Yeah. with caviar, caviar on it. I remember that. And we were like, wow, how lucky are we that we're here and we get to do this. And then all those game journalists showed up. Oh, no, we don't need that. We brought our own. And they all had Subway. 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 <laughs> they're all, they're Subway. all in Sonic shirts and they brought Subway. And we I were mean, just like, caviar pizza. What? We all dressed up for the event. We did. We did. We we were all, I think anytime someone says caviar, I think laugh to caviar myself pizza. about that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Dude, the good. Sonic shirt eating pizza. Eating fucking subway. You know, anyway. this year. Oh, we. I mean, the dinner. Yeah, I want to hear about it. Oh, okay. Well, the dinner itself uh, was good, but yeah. I just felt it was so. Ex- I just am not. You don't good like. At- um. You don't like expensive, grandiose things like that. I, that is it's not, not your style. That's not my style. It's just not. And so, like, not my style either. it makes me uncomfortable. I'm the same way, Sean. And you know, like the the first course, like you could choose, like you know, lamb tartare or whatever. But I'm like, I just kind of want a salad. But then I like, <laughs> so I ordered the salad. But I'm like, I just spent like that. If you break it down, this salad was really expensive for this this salad, which is just a salad. Yeah. You know. But like overall, the food was fucking great. Oh, I bet. Yeah. It was yeah. so good. But like, I just felt like, oh man, this is a you know. And I, I just think about the price yeah. a lot, and I, yeah. I wish I didn't, but I just do. That's not something I seek out. Like I no. don't want to. That's not usually my thing. I'll I'll pay a premium if it's like, yo, you're about to do an experience. You know, we kind of did that when when we went to Club 33. Yeah. But it was like, yo, you're in a theme park. Yeah, I'll do that. It's going to be multi-courses, and then you could, like, explore this thing and look around. Mm. Okay, well, it's almost, it's more than food at that point, yeah. you know. But but that's not on a regu- in any yeah. kind of regular capacity. I don't really seek that out. Mm. But when I've been in that situation where it's like, oh, I, okay, I agreed to come here, but it's way more than I thought. I actually try to shift the re- into the reverse mode, Sean, mm. where it's like, "Fuck, I spent that. I'm gonna enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy every morsel of this mm-hmm. as much as I can." And I try to tune it out. Yeah, well, tune out I the definitely was full, and I still ate everything. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm eating yeah. all of this. Yeah, and it, you know, again, the food was like fucking great, but. Yeah. But was it worth the price? Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I. But I've been to that restaurant with just Jenny before, and that wasn't like a. It wasn't like that. You just, you know, order your thing and we can share yeah. things, whatever. And this was not a different situation. Yeah, I think really. Maybe they had new a guest Year's. guest chef or something. Oh, New Year's. It was oh, a New yeah. Year's thing. That's why they did this. It was like a special oh, okay. holiday thing that yeah. they made it, you know, whatever. But uh, yeah, will I go to that restaurant again? Yes. Will I do a prepaid thing like that again? No. <laughs> Lessons yeah. were learned. Um, did any of you guys happen to see, your, you're reminding me of the movie, The Menu, that came out over Christmas break? Yeah. No. Did you see it, no. Rocco? Yes. I wanted, I was kind of curious. It looked interesting enough. But uh, that was like one of my favorite movies of last oh, year. Oh, you liked it? Yeah, really? I really, I really, I was laughing uh, out loud <laughs> several times throughout. I, I just found yeah. it very well, um, the twists and everything that came through and the way uh, I was surprised by like the plot, like, I don't know. I it just did, really enjoyed it. It doesn't okay. strike me as a Rocco movie. And no, I didn't see it. I did not like it. No, nah, that was my I would have guessed it like that. Yeah, I was kind of <laughs> surprised as everyone everyone told me to watch it and I just thought I just thought it was cringy. Cringy. Ooh. I'm just not I'm not uh, a horror guy. And it kind of like tried it kind of like It went. was very yeah, it was very like oh, it started it it's suspenseful and oh. definitely uh gory in mm. so, in certain parts. But yeah, yeah the, it it was it was high tension, high suspense. The, yeah. Horror movie stakes for sure. Yeah. There's okay. there's a you know what it is for me? Huh. Uh, it's not even that it was like a bad I'm not telling anyone, don't fucking see this or anything. Yeah, it's super well acted. Um, would you agree that? There's a lot of great people in it. There's just a sarcastic attitude that I don't like. Okay. I don't know what it is. It's the right. There's like, yeah, the, as soon as it begins, like she's like making oh let me why am I here? <laughs> there's just like a attitude that I don't uh subscribe to hmm. that's gotcha. it okay well i think yeah everyone is like unlikable in that movie yeah so yeah. it comes off as like yeah everyone's fucking annoying and <laughs> <laughs> that's why you you cheer for their deaths anyway uh your your five course meal no, 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 no. reminded me of the menu well what reminded me of another five course meal that i saw was i know that rocco and kevin went to 
Super what? Super Nintendo. What is it called? Super. I keep Super it, Nintendo World. I cannot Whoa. stop calling it Mario Land. I do too. Yeah. I, I do too. Cannot stop calling it that. <laughs> is there a game called Mario Land? What the yeah. fuck? Oh, yeah. it's a Game Boy game. It's then game Boy. that's what it is. Because yep. that's yeah. in my head, and I cannot Super Nintendo World. Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, but how was it? You guys went. You guys did a little stream from there. Yeah, I think it was a, a little pre- bit technical previews, and it was fun. Yes, yeah. they were in rehearsals. Uh, I feel bad because I feel like I've talked about it in every stream we've done this week well not the I've, main one. i have yeah. yeah so but there was a couple things i did save mm. to bring oh, up here cool. uh yeah, yeah, yeah we got to check it out yeah. i did not anticipate i wasn't sure if i'd be able to get in and i thought well it'd be funny to stream silently stream the whole journey up to the pipe that you go through yeah and enter nintendo world and i thought well it'll be funny if i walk up to that and they're like sir you can't come in go away yeah oh like just end it all. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good. That thing. Would you know, like okay, yeah, that's that what'll probably good. happen. That's and it was amazing how easy it was to just show up. And then it opened. There really wasn't many people there. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, yeah, just go in. Okay, <sighs> went in, walked through the ride. There's no one in. What? The so fuck? I'm walking through oh. Bowser's castle with no one in there, and I'm streaming it and trying to do it silently because I just thought it'd be fun. It'd be cool. Like just a- an ambient thing to watch yeah and i'm behind the camera fucking soy facing just oh, 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 <laughs> bombs, oh, you know there you go there it is, there it is. <laughs> yeah there <laughs> that's him for that. thank you that's me behind the camera the whole time when he but, saw the bombs but anyway uh so uh eventually i uh met up with you with yeah you, me and rachel you, yeah you and rachel were there and we hung out, and I, I I think I went on that ride, maybe f- the Mario Kart ride, like five times. Uh, wow. Because when it opened, no one was on it. So I was just like, well, I'm going to... It, there's a lot more... It's an involved thing where you're shooting sh- shells and shit yeah. and whatever. Okay. So I, I needed to do it once to get it, and then, yeah. and and then, then you I, do it again. I, yeah. I, I've been on record by saying... I've only been to Universal Studios once. Yeah. And I did not care for the rides. Yeah, really ride, ride situations weak there. Like yeah. the lands are cool. The one in Hollywood, Florida has a lot of great rides. Okay, but, well, but sure. Hollywood, I, yeah. Actually, I did. I, I have gone there. Yeah. When I was a kid. Yeah. But I don't remember. I remember the Nickelodeon Studios and the Five Will Goes West yeah. land. But that's all. Oh, I remember. okay. Yeah. I hate to break it to you. Those are those they're are both gone. They're both gone. They're just, both gone? The Nickelodeon fi- has been gone. Nick about the Five Will stuff is now. Now. Didn't they just throw up the fence on that? Yep. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Just, I think it was like Woody Woodpecker, move? and yep. it was just this like kids area. Bible goes west was still a land. That's until crazy. days ago. Shut That's up. crazy, dude. <laughs> what? Not Sean, even an American Sean, Tale. Sean, Sean, goes something west. that I think you would love about going to the theme parks in Florida. Yeah. Here in California, space is at a fucking premium. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no one's doing that. Close it. No one's no one's watching this. Close it. Build something else. Florida things have room to just sit. So there are things where it's like. Oh, they don't have that anymore. No, they, they do. do. They're not tending to it, but oh, it's there. Dude. So the ET ride is sitting in that same corner wow. as the five yep. old shit. Um, what was oh. it? There was uh, uh, up until not recently, there was a Barney yeah. uh, Holy experience Barney. at Universal that only just closed. Dude, um, at, at Disney World, there was a Honey, I Shrunk the Audience play area up until they built the galaxy's edge yeah. wow. like like it was wow. giant, it survived that giant blades of grass i ant, would yeah like, i have these memories of the five Bows goes west land yeah that you know again i was like nine yeah i would love i'm too bad it's close i would love to look at it again and, and see you, see like what i remember right, like, i remember sure, a big yeah. can YouTube of like videos. tuna or something yeah like i'm sure there's like, youtube videos probably, walking probably, through probably yeah. Stuff. yeah well anyways as i was saying the ride situation and the the hollywood one yeah kind of sucks <laughs> dude I, I saw you get off of harry potter and it was like i wanted to your brain. die <laughs> <laughs> that's a Griffin. really highly rated ride too yeah, I, I love I, that ride. so i thought I th- you guys went all on it it was like cool man they're they're gonna be all over this and he, sean walked off <laughs> like it was derek too i think derek's like fuck yeah that. yeah derek was not having it <laughs> yeah I thought, I thought one of you would have loved it but you yeah, guys were no. all like pissed by it yeah that that, that was like <laughs> you're stuck in vrl <laughs> so so i will say to that i've always thought like dude they just need like they they have coasters, they have this, they have that. But I I want just more cool dark rides yeah. and stuff like Disney has. Mm-hmm. Mario Kart delivers on that. I know a lot it's of people. So good. A lot of people were disappointed that it wasn't. Oh, it's Mario Kart. Why isn't a? Understandably, like why isn't it like cars? Yeah, my thought the, car, the cars and the, like, yeah, or, totally or it's yeah. not or it's a coaster because it's fast or whatever. But yeah. they actually focused on making it a. It's a Disney style dark ride, yeah. but they just put it's a really cute fun aug- dark ride. Yeah, augmented reality over it. 
So, but what makes it, you know, yeah, you shoot stuff, but it's not looking at screens. It's not whatever. It's like, oh, though they physically built, there's a chain chomp oh, animatronic cool. coming at you. There's, oh, wow. you know, yeah. and, and you'll see an animatronic uh, fire flower, but in AR, it's shooting fireballs. Yeah, you'll see the fireballs come at it. But oh, it's a physical cool. thing in yeah. front of you. So the blending of the two, it's, I actually left it going like, I don't remember what, wait, was that really there? I, don't, I think it was. Yeah. Um, so you have like a hat on. You have a Mario, Mario hat with hat. with gog with like, and the goggles screen. like snap in from the car. Yes, it's, it's magnetic. You just oh. they, they mag safe to your fucking head. That's so cool. And yeah. uh, and then you just look through that. And with glasses, yeah. it's not a problem. Nope, because nope. it's just pieces of plastic. Over that, okay. Yeah, that they project shit on. Yeah, that's it's really well. It's really well done. You know, uh, one of the presents that Jane and I got the kids is that we told them that we're going to take them to Universal yeah. Studios. I'm mean, yeah. not the tickets yet or anything, but we're going to. But yeah, well, I was waiting for this to open mm -hmm. before we, because you know, it's like this is so close. Yeah. Like, might as well wait. February. But, damn, I'm so excited! Like, I can't yeah. wait to check this yeah, out. Yeah, I love have a trip. It. Oh, sorry. What? I have a trip planned too. That's funny. You said you're taking the the family. Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going in like April or something. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Yeah, we have a date picked out or anything. Honestly, yeah. I, was, I was telling Rock, I was debating like, do I get the season passes or just the day? Not for your, probably not for your whole not family because no, if you're not planning yeah, on going no with your way. whole family again for a while, yeah. I, I feel like Universal, like they charge Disney prices and they don't maybe yeah. warrant well, that with the rides. Yeah. They're playing a weird game because, the, yeah, the, the, the ticket, the to day buy ticket. It, to, the day ticket just to go, it's, yeah, it's about the same price as Disney. And I'm like, you don't have a nearly the amount of attractions, but to get an annual pass is barely more than the ticket. Oh, they're so they're, I think they're that. trying to encourage you to like, yo, just come Upgrade. back all year. Yeah. Whereas Disney, their annual passes are like, oh no, these are, um, it's going to cost you uh, uh, $2 million in a liver. Yeah. If you want, oh, you want to come back here all year? Yeah, give me your fucking pinky. Yeah. Right. You know, it's a very, they're playing two different games. Yeah. It's very interesting. And it is, yeah, but like, you know, that very little difference times yeah. six is like yeah. a yeah. massive Adds difference. Up. It is a big difference. Adds but up. man, I would love to... <laughs> Go again, but anyways, yeah, um, just upgrade yours. We have annual passes. Just go with us. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Like, like later, Jenny, watch the kids. You gotta yeah, every now and then. Definitely Mario Kart ride again. <laughs> you gotta go. Uh, I gotta go ride. I gotta go see a chain chomp real quick. Yeah. So, hey, oh, oh yeah. I was just gonna say, I know how you guys feel about the parks, Disney versus Universal, but how about Universal City Walk versus Downtown Disney? Oh yeah. I, I mean, City Walk has more. City Walk I would has say, more, but yeah. it's more Florida. They have like yeah. the the Margaritaville and yeah. the yeah. Bubba and the, Gump Shrimp Blues and Brothers stuff like that. And it is like over exaggerated. Like the all the the things on the the like yeah, it looks like a cartoon. Yes, it does. It's a little more for the tourists. Yeah, I it, would say. Um, yeah. Um, Dis Downtown Disney is less touristy. I think. Yeah, I think well, it's your, more for more for like locals to like yeah. come ch chill there every yep. week kind of thing. Hmm. So oh, I don't really? know. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of the vibe I get. But um, uh, do you have your preference? I mean, we know you prefer Disney over Universal, but yeah. But you know, City what, Walk though? over Downtown. City Walk though has more there, and they kept their movie theater. Downtown Disney they used did. to have one, and they got yeah. Rid of it, so mm. I might, I might go City Walk. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, all, what I was gonna say was, so I had the, I didn't know if I'd be able to get in. Whatever. Um, I was at Universal the week before just to get the Nintendo merch because mm -hmm. I heard they put it out early. It, which killed me because like the next morning they opened it up oh. for tech rehearsal. So I was at home like I could have been there. Yeah. But I went with our friends Casey and Sarah and we someone made a joke. About, I think one of them made a joke about like, do you think all the Xbox fans are mad that they didn't get it, their own land? You know, or some joke yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. When this land opens, <laughs> I got to get a photo with all Xbox gear on. <laughs> like, yo, sorry, Nintendo, but <laughs> Xbox still rules. You know, Xbox whatever. does what Nintendo don't. Yeah, still, <laughs> something like that. So I told Kevin, I'm like, today we're going to go. We're going to yeah. go to the tech rehearsals. I'm going to have my Xbox onesie that I've had for years. <laughs> all things. In thing. my backpack, just in case. Cool. You know, and then maybe we could take a photo. Okay, yeah, great. Yeah. I drove up to LA early that morning. I was like, I drove up like six in the morning yeah. and I'm, I'm like, oh, I should have brought copies of Halo. And I'm <laughs> Kevin, 6 20 a.m. Yeah, it was a Kevin. If you are you coming up today, uh, could you bring co a copy of Halo? Could you bring it? Whatever. And I'm thinking he'll bring like Master Chief Collection on Xbox One or sure, whatever. Yeah. yeah. 
he brought OG <laughs> copies of Combat Evolved and Halo <laughs> 2 in the Steelbook. <laughs> the, the, my original, I, I was telling Rachel Dude. on the drive back, I was like, I never thought my original copies that I bought in 2001 and 2004 <laughs> or yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> were going to be <laughs> taken to Universal Studios to be in a Nintendo themed world. Yeah. Like, <laughs> so it was so, and I'm like, he, I'm like, you know, whatever. If he doesn't want to bring that's fine. And then he's like, no, I got him. And they're the originals. Yeah, here you go. Boom. Oh. Holy shit. So, we we had fun in the in the in the land. We did our thing. We rode the ride. We ate at the cafe, which yeah. was great. That's what I was that gonna was, say that food looks good. Oh, the yeah, food that was really cool. good. Food, that is, seemed, food is all yeah. great, and it's all themed. We were, it, there's no windows. They make it look like there's windows, but it's you know it's, oh, it's like LED. toad outside. Oh. We sat right next to the kitchen, so we just watched the toads cook our food. Yeah, and stuff toads like that. you know mixing a salad a little oh, too hard. That's awesome. Yeah. But anyway, so it was great, and then we were all done. It's like, are we good? Okay, I'm gonna change for this photo. Okay. Yeah. So went in, um, and uh, <laughs> I went into the bathroom and changed. Which, by the way, bathroom has immaculate underwater level vibes. Oh, shut oh, up! Oh, you no go in way. there and it's and it's. Cheap, cheap, cheap. I cannot cheap, wait to check on the this wall. shit out. Oh, yep. so oh, excited. blue walls. I'm, pi I'm yeah. pissing like yeah. This is how Dude, you. They put this is the, how you piss. They put the, the scores for the ride or the, or the land. Yeah, you can get high scores and stuff like that, and they put it right next I to the, the bathroom. Yeah. so it looks like you could you. Yeah, I was like, oh, they do high. <laughs> Piss, piss scores. Like, yeah, we walked by. Kevin was like, "Dude, they're scoring pisses here." <laughs> Who like, took I, the wickedest dump? <laughs> but, but, but I didn't even think about yeah. that. Those scoreboards are yellow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> because shit. of coins. They're they're uh, coins. Yeah. It's coin based. Yeah, because you can um, collect coins with the bands you wear in the land. Yeah. Or something right. like that. But it's yellow and it's next to the restroom. So it is logical yep. to think you might get a piss score. Damn. Yep. Anyway, I changed. I came back out. We took the Xbox photos, and. Uh, I posted the photos online that night, and I think they are the most viewed, most engaged with photos I've ever posted on social media. Oh, you did. Um, millions of views across Yo. wherever I've posted it, and I've never gotten – the angry tweets have not stopped <laughs> since Wednesday night or Thursday or yeah, whenever it was. Yeah, um, I've just been getting people who don't know who I, it's, you know, it, when something gets big enough, they start to reach people you outside of your audience. Yeah. And I've been getting, I mean, I just wake up every day to a, a ton of hate tweets. Just, <laughs> um, you X bots never learn. Um, you drones are all the same. You keep, um, wow. you know, you just can't take the L you there's, you know, what? it's <laughs> all, take the L. all yeah. day long hate. Responding to the tweet. The gamer it, wars are not over, dude. I guess not. The console wars continue to rage on. Damn, dude. And uh, and it hasn't stopped. And I can't wait because something that happened when I was eating in the cafe was I got stopped. This is I was not around Kevin and Rachel. Yeah, this, we, we came point. later. Um, I walked out of the cafe. I was stopped by Universal employees. <gasps> I was What'd like, you oh, do? they know they know my Xbox plan. Oh, oh shit. And they said. Fuck. We're really sorry. The whole time I was in the cafe, I was noticing they kept putting food, all the food items onto one table. They kept shoving it on one table. And then they brought in a family that sat down and ate it. And they're like 360 filming them with like cameras and phones and mm. whatever. And I'm just sitting there in the background like, what is going on? And they stopped me and they said, you're in every shot of this promo that we're doing. Can you? Can we get a release form? Otherwise, we're gonna have to like reshoot this. Oh, Is that shit. cool? Absolutely. And so they bring me the release forms, and the guy's like, "I'm, I'm, I'm like, where is this gonna be used?" And they're yeah. like, "That's actually a good question. It's gonna be promotional, but I don't know. I don't know if Yo. it's just social media or on TV. I, oh, I don't okay. actually know yeah. everything yet, or if it's going out to the news or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know. So log logically, I'm still signing. You know, a logical thing to do when you don't know where this is gonna go. Really? But anyway, <laughs> so I'm doing that, and the guy's like, "It might be you. Might be in a Nintendo video." Oh, you know? Rocco! I was like, oh, oh! Uh, <laughs> you don't uh, say. You found the one I, person. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I actually did tell the guy. I was like, "Look up Mega Sixty Four Nintendo. Just look it up." And he was like, "Oh, okay. Yeah, look that up. Oh, okay. Oh." Ooh. So, um. But anyway, uh, so I don't know where that promo is going to go. I'm going to keep an eye out. But if you see any promo or promotional stuff anywhere where family's eating, uh, they've got all the items and they're having fun with all the food items. What were you Look in the wearing? background. Was it this beanie? Uh, I had, uh, I don't no, not this beanie. It was my 7-Eleven beanie. 7-Eleven beanie. God blur that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. He'll be like in the background. It'll be like an Easter egg. Like I might be out of focus anyway. Yeah, you didn't seem him out worried of focus about it. in the background. 
So but how cool of an Easter egg. So keep an eye out. If you're in a Nintendo video, Rocco, I'll <laughs> be so jealous. <laughs> Dude. So jealous. Can't What's believe. next? You're going to meet... Yeah, it would be Miyamoto. Don't even start with me. <laughs> oh, no. But it was, I couldn't believe how many people thought that tweet was serious. It was un- That's cool. unbelievable. It, people, I love it, dude. You know, I just couldn't get over it's, it. It's it was when, like, when things branch out and get past our Mega 64 fans' yeah. wall, <laughs> then you get people mad at you. Yeah, it's been, it's been 20 years and there's still people going, is he joking? You know, and I know some of them aren't familiar with our material. I understand that, but I feel like some people were even like, "I know Mega sixty four, but I just can't tell if this is a joke." Like, How <laughs> did you not know? Yeah, but I was really happy joke. to see some tweets that were people. There were a lot of people who would not let go. Like, I don't. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's a joke. Well, it's not a funny one. I don't think he should have done this. <laughs> but it, there were people who wouldn't let go of their stance. But I really appreciated. There were people who were like mad about the tweet. These fucking Xbox people, and then later in that day was like, "Hey." I didn't know what Mega 64 was, and now I've watched it. Oh, and hell I'm yeah. In, and I'm in. And I was like, awesome. Yes. Oh, you converted See, that's some cool. people to so be that part, fans. So that part I liked. Did anyone, like, kind of uh, back you up? Like, fuck yeah, Xbox for life, brother. Uh, like, did you get any, like... A couple. Pro. It's more, more just, it's more Nintendo fans just being Did mad. you get anything <laughs> when you were taking the picture of people going, <laughs> okay. No, not really. Uh, there were people walking by yeah. and, like filming it like yeah. oh shit and they were funny. recording it yeah they were all laughing it is a funny stuff. idea it's people why get mad at we, that we who took cares? the picture in the who mario and, we took the picture in the mario and luigi meet and greet area yeah <laughs> like <laughs> like they took off for the day so it's like oh, i'll take that out. and then it's it's available to just walk around it. <laughs> that's yeah so good well. that's great um that's great. so uh anyway so there were people walking by like oh is there oh mario and luigi coming back oh Oh, <laughs> that's not guy and then they were the original halo yeah they were like so they would then they would take a picture and whatever but it was cool. I I went to see that land for like it's not that big. No, it's not super big. We'll talk more about it. We got to do a creepy old crib episode we at do, some we point. Do. We'll go more in depth on it. But it's not that big. So I'm like, dude, I'm gonna go here when they open. Be there a few hours, see Kevin and Rachel, and then I'm gonna take off. I was in the land ten to six. Yep, the, whole, the whole day from and that was the what? entirety of the park What'd hours. You do? I I did a bunch of shit until they got there, and then yeah. we did it all we, again, then we did it all again yeah, yeah. and hung out there, and that wow. was it. And it was but cool because you had already seen day. some of the stuff and figured out some of the secret things. Yeah. And you were showing me like, hey, check this out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, look at I can do this. The, the The fun of it really was I uh, finding things that were like, oh shit. Dude, look at the and and doing like I, my band like made something happen in the wall in one area, and k- kids nearby going, oh, "What was that? What did you?" And then they came running in and they're trying to get it to do. Yeah. Seeing kids lose their mind in that land was the was I feel like truly that's the coolest be, part of it. Like that's going to be my kids yeah, for yeah, sure. Totally. That's you, me, honestly. It's oh, yeah. definitely entertaining for adults. Kids will lose their shit. There's yeah. enough. That is magic about it that mm-hmm. they will lose their shit in a way. You know, I'm everyone's going to compare it to Galaxy's Edge with Star. I love Galaxy's Edge, whatever, but I would almost say that land appealed more to like our age. Oh, for sure. There was definitely sure. like, I mean, kids are like, whoa, when they go there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Nintendo Land is is interactive and, and magic in a way that will speak to children yeah. way more. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. I cracked so, up yeah. because um, you can hit the blocks that are around there. Mm-hmm. And if you have a thing, they do stuff and things like that. But I saw so many kids get under it with their head and go, no. Yeah. Yeah. I saw <laughs> that like too. That. It was, yeah, it was it's like, cool. no, don't do that. <laughs> it's like, what oh, are you doing? You're going to get concussed. <laughs> Ryan, yeah. stop! I mean, How it, large you know? is it a big area? Because I was surprised when I first saw um, the Harry Potter area of Universal. Yeah. It's like, yo, it's a pizza slice. Yeah. It's a yeah. tiny little, yeah. it's so they, small. They do a lot with the space they have. Is and, is it bigger? And and it's multi, like, I didn't get, like, the places were closed, but there's other there's secret areas. Yeah. Oh. There's upstairs. Oh. There's, there's That's stuff. That's another cool. thing that was missing, in my opinion, from Galaxy's Edge is, like, it's so scenic and cool, but there's all these upper areas, and it's like, what's up there? You can't and, explore, yeah. And there, there's nothing going on up there. What are all these upper areas? Nintendo Land? No, it's like, oh, you could go through. Here's the a staircase that goes and up to go this up area there. Oh, oh, I could go. Whoa, yeah. there's stuff up there. Oh shit! You know, oh, like they yeah. make so much use of that, yeah. that small so amount cool. of space. It's oh, not good. big, but they make so much use of it. Do you guys do the backlot tour at all? Or you stayed in this? Oh, oh, we we, we didn't have time to do the backlot yeah. tour, but that's a go-to. Like backlot tour is amazing. That's something I still. 
totally enjoy at, yeah. at the parks. And mm-hmm. they, but they changed that up, right? Because I've only oh, done it once. Yeah. It all depends on that day. What they're shooting. What they're yeah, filming, yeah, yeah. what they're like, depending on where you yeah. go, what's running. And so you get a different, you get a mixed bag every time. Okay. Mm. I'm really, that's, I mean, not that, whatever, but Sawyer, she's like into everything that's going to be at this, at this place. Like she loves the Simpsons. You know, yeah. she, like, yeah. does she like Secret Life of Pets? She doesn't care about that. Okay. Because they, 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 right? they have a ride. Yeah. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. Uh, but like in the back of the tour, when I did the good place, you could be, be in the neighborhood, yeah. but she loves that show. I feel like this, she's oh, really? so fucking amped whenever yeah. we go to this. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Oh, I do want to say the one negative I, I forgot to mention, though. You, you mentioned Secret Life of Pets. There's yeah. a problem with that ride and the new Mario Kart ride. I don't know what it is with Universal and the newer rides. They put you in the most constraining <laughs> thing that locks down on you that that Mario Kart ride... I can barely fit in it. Mm. And I have never had that issue at any theme park Nothing before. Nothing Disney. And there are people who don't look that big to me that were like, I couldn't fit in the oh, thing. No. It, it is so, they want to lock you in so tight. And everyone's like, yo, what's going on? Like, yeah, you're not even going that fast. Di- Disney's no. figured this out. Like, new rides come out and they, you know, that's crazy. You got a bar there, but it's not a big thing. Um, for some reason, you, it's universal specifically. They put you, they want to put you in a cock and ball torture machine <laughs> <laughs> to go through Secret Life of Pets. I've got this, seriously, the seat has like a yeah. lump in, in between your legs that a thing, the bar clamps down on tink, and it's like, is this going to go upside down? Like what's going on? No, no it's just keep no. you in. And it's like, I'm suffering in here. Wow. I don't know. They, the inclusivity of their ride situation is absurd that yeah. we're talking about this in 2023 that, I mean, people were walking into the Nintendo thing going like, I don't think I can go on this ride. Like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, wow. And they weren't that big mm. um, comparatively. So uh, be careful if you go, just know. Uh, be advised that mm-hmm. they are. I don't know what. I don't know. Get your what, nuts ready. You can go on the ride, but wear a cup. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, it's. I, I don't know what was up with that. Anyway, that's crazy. That Secret Life of Pets ride is the most tepid thing yeah. ever. It's so and slow, it, and they lock you in like you're going on Colossus. It, yeah. it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Not anyway. even loop de loop. Sorry to take it to Nintendo World again on, on an 80th stream, but you know, I wanted <laughs> yeah. to. Share no, I'm, that I'm curious about hearing that stuff yeah. too. And I, and I, I saw that stream, and that was you know that was cool. I was wanted to know. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of Mario. Yeah. Uh, I've been building a Lego set from Mario 64. Yeah. And right. just letting everyone watching here know now, once the, the after show is done, I'm going to stay late and try to finish it by the end. Right over there. Um, yeah. The stream by, continues. The stream continues. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to finish this up. I'm on bag seven of 13. Uh, You're at I, the halfway I, point. I, I yeah, want to be, I want to finish there. it. I say beat it. I want to finish it before midnight. My goal is like, 10 30. Okay. Ooh, okay. I believe okay. in you. Hopefully. So, anyways, if you're bored, stay tuned and I'll be building some Legos after yeah, this. Yeah. Yeah. If you, so you know. by the way, too, if you missed all, we did so many streams this week. Yes. As we mentioned. And if you, you missed them, you didn't get to see them. They're all going up on the Mega 64 archive channel. Uh, if you're not sub to that, definitely subscribe to it. We, there's hours and hours and hours of stuff. Like, if you didn't see Stream Fellas, you missed out. Oh, Stream Fellas. Uh, if you is didn't so see fun. our stream at Buca de Beppo, <sighs> you missed out. Oh, let's talk about that for a second. Yeah. Please. Uh, we always. I can't believe you went Something there. that we just love to do whenever it's this particular week is we, it's, you know, oh, we got to do a bunch of weird streams. Yeah. Something always funny about eating something that should be exciting in, in complete silence. silence. Like, is it a reflection on human misery? I don't know. I don't know. But it was like, what do you want to do this time? And it's like, well, the last couple of years, we, again, it all, the stream always fell in a weird time where it was like, ooh, uh, you know, maybe infections might be, you know, flaring up. There's always something going on. Uh, but this year it was like, oh, we can go to a restaurant. Yeah. It won't be so bad. Where do you want to go? Oh, how funny. Actually, we picked a different one. Yes, we there, did. And there, it was, it's closed one day a week and it was that day. Of course. It, Huh. It it was uh, one of the few buffets left open, and we, we were thought in the oh, car. a buffet oh. would be would be funny. You would go to a buffet, yeah. yes, and so we thought sad. it would have been funny. Closed on Thursdays. No, what was Tuesdays. It? Tuesdays. Tuesdays. Yeah, the one day a week it's closed. That's so, a new thing, all right? Yeah, don't yeah. get that. Suffering but, restaurants are doing that. It happened to me last week too. Yeah, uh, I will say one of the worst things that came out of the pandemic was no one adhering to their hours. You, there oh. have been so many places. Like I went up to LA at one point and it was like, oh, you got to try this place that opened, this new place that opened, came up for that. And it's like, oh, we just left. You just left. The hours are till 10, you know? Yeah. They just left. And it's like, cool. Thanks. It 
I feel like I've been hitting that a lot and yeah. I'm totally sympathetic to like things going on with workers and, you know, uh, shortage. I, I get all that stuff, but it's really difficult. Uh, you know, I was talking, Emma was asking, she's hanging out with her friends and she was like, Hey, is it cool if we go to Denny's? I'm like, it was late. I'm like, yeah. fucking yeah. late night Denny's. Like, yeah. yeah, that's like what you do. It's yeah, a staple. Yeah. And she got there what, like, with her friends or something. Their friends. Yeah. And she's like, it's closed. Yeah, it was like it's now it's hit or miss because they're franchise. And so like, yeah. now yeah. all the high school kids hang out in and out, and they don't hang out at yeah. Denny's anymore. I've like, been that's I've, crazy. I've heard yeah. that from numerous like parents with their I, like like you said that to me before. It was yeah. like uh, it was such a high school tradition to go to Denny's late, and now it's in and out. Yep. Yeah. Um. So yeah. De why would Denny's turn? I know. I always saw people there late. Always, yeah, I don't know. dude. Anyway. So we decided, hey, how funny yeah. would it be to go to Buca de Beppo? We always talk about how bad it is. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I've Rockworth. never been. Ryan, you've never been? Yeah. Oh. Johnny, you had, had you been there? Oh, no, never. Buka. Okay, so I always talk shit on it, but I'm always like, am I being hard on it? Yeah. Am I comparing it to the classic Italian places? Am I, am I being rough? How did you guys feel? Uh, no, you were not rough on it. That, that meal was awful. It was dreadful <laughs> and very expensive and it's not good. I've it was the it fakest sucks. Italian restaurant I've ever been to. Johnny counterpoint. Uh, no, I agree with Kevin. It was fucking disgusting. It tastes, <laughs> tastes like fucking chef boy or D shit. Yeah. You well, know, horrible. Thank you. Yeah. Johnny thank was you. the one who showed us. Was it Federici's? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so good. Oh, in, in Jersey? Yeah, in Jersey. Oh, be, so one of the good. best Italian joints. So I think been. Johnny going from Federici's, which he was, you know, yeah. did you go at all during the, your trip back? No, I went to, a, there's a burger place right next to Federici's called uh, the Court Jester. I went there. Oh, though. Okay, okay, cool. Well, my point is you were there and then you, you're you in the hub of this yeah, delicious. Yeah, the heart of good Italian. So, so good there. Yeah. He went to Buca de Beppo. Yeah, and I I'm coming at this as a fan of like the Olive Garden. I like the hey, Olive oh, Garden. We, Olive Garden is good. We have yeah. jokingly oh, listen. We'll make jokes about Olive Garden. We'll make cracks yeah. about oh that's not a real Italian place. If because if you're if you ask me to take you to Italian place, yeah. I'm not going to take you to Olive. No, 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 I'm going no. to a normal so, mom and pop place. <laughs> so we've streamed there before, yeah. also as a joke. But when it, the stream was off, it's like uh, I had a good meal. That was a good meal. Like you could you could, you can eat and it's fine. Yeah. But Buca de Beppo was like toxic. It was it was not good. And every and plate was thirty seven bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No joke. They're family style, yeah, so family it's, style, it's gonna so be share more and stuff like that. But, but still, yeah. bullshit. It, it's still. It, it was too much money. What'd you order? Uh, I got lasagna. Okay. Spaghetti meatballs. Classic spaghetti meatballs. Okay. And then a chicken uh, prosciutto. Uh, Parm? Prosciutto. Prosciutto. prosciutto? prosciutto. Yeah, Chick stuffed, stuffed yeah. chicken. Oh. Chicken, and yeah. It was, stuffed chicken. <laughs> that stuffed chicken, I think, was the worst. That was fucking <laughs> disgusting. It it was like someone went to Costco and grabbed whatever they could and heated it up. It's real like quick. hard ham <laughs> in a in a yeah. Oh, it was not good. And because and not it was only worse that, than I ever remembered. Everything like it was everything on the wall. You could tell is so fake. And and they're yeah. coming around asking to take your photo so they can sell you a photo. Uh, at the, at the, yeah, yeah, it's like what are they, Benny Hanna. Yeah, yeah, we're sitting here silently in misery. Yeah, I don't want a photo. <laughs> no, I don't want a photo. And then uh, we I did get this. one birthday where they sing the Buca de Beppo birthday song. Ooh. And I'm like, I want to leave. I want to get out of here. It's uh, printed when you sit down. They it's have on the pla menu. Placemats. Just so you know, the Buca de Beppo birthday song. It's pasta. I, I don't know what it was. Pasta, know. pizza, pasta, pizza. You have a birthday. You and you will eat a. It, it, well, yeah. it was printed all over everything, and we're like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And then, yeah, someone had a birthday, and it was, hey, it's your birthday, pasta, pizza, 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 everyone who's going to eat some. Yeah, 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 it was like, I'm going to fucking yeah. jump out the window. <laughs> that Buga de Beppo is awful. Do not That's one of the worst yeah. meals I've ever had in my life. <laughs> and we messed it. Ryan, Ryan has been saying forever. Let's go. We got to go. I, I, something happened where he, we said we said we owe him a meal there. So I don't know what the fuck he's talking know. about. So it's not happening. <laughs> but obligation but, required. But we went. Yeah, now. we went. It, yeah, we went. Ryan, you weren't didn't, there. He didn't show. That was yeah, all. That was on up. you, Ryan. <laughs> so we went. I messaged. We, he saw the stream and messaged me. You went to Buga de Beppo? And I went, yeah. And he his next message literally was... I can't believe you finally went. It's good, right? Oh, oh my god! It was. It was. Oh. Never go to Buca de Beppo. Oh, <laughs> De don't. If your family goes, hey, we're going to Buca de Beppo. Get a new family. Get a new family. Go somewhere else. Hey, hey we're going to Olive Garden. Is that the birthday? Oh, Johnny song? pulled up the birthday song. Hey, sing along the birthday song. Uh, meatballs, meatballs, pasta. pasta. We made, we made them, them fresh, fresh for you. you. Bullshit. Homemade. Homemade. 
marinara, marinara. Lots, lots of, of garlic, garlic too. It's, it's your day to Buka. So we're here to say, have a happy birthday, the Buka de Beppo way. Fuck you, Buka de Beppo. Dude, that was uh, that was the worst meal ever. You. Very <laughs> rarely do I wish bankruptcy <laughs> on Poe. <laughs> oh, I'm with you. But <laughs> they're owned by Planet Hollywood. Okay. Oh. Which which makes sense. Oh. When That's you go already there. done. Oh my um, God. Turn every Buka de Beppo into anything else. And, oh my and, God. A and hey, lot. I told a story. I forgot I told the story on the podcast yeah. where the last time my family went, because I think we got like gift cards or you something to go there. Food. Yeah. So me and, my, and we were like, I smell fucking, it smells like someone shit cheese. <laughs> Out and 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 wasn't it fam- <laughs> wasn't the, the the part of the story that you remembered? The I didn't one, even the, remember the, this. The what number one it? part I remember yeah. is there was something that stunk. It stunk and, like shit. And it at stunk the table. so bad that people are all like, "Did someone fart?" <laughs> I think my mom. I think my mom went to my brother and was like, "Did, did are you farting? Did you <laughs> like hey and real was like, real talk? Did no. you fart? <laughs> okay, Rocco, Rocco, did you did you?" Did that, you really? Did you rip one? That is no. That is not something you want to hear. That's not something you want to hear when and, your food comes to the and table. And it was the cheese at the table. <laughs> yeah. So we said, yeah, we don't want to like eat here anymore. We yeah. had some food, and it was like, I don't want to eat here anymore. And then they, yeah, they offered us more gift cards. No. Like, oh. It's like no, just take yeah. the meal away. We got it. We got to end the we're cycle. Leaving. Oh, the so anyway, I, I was there. I had to eat in the kitchen. Like it was fucking weird. Yeah, it's weird. fun, right? No, it was not fun. Oh. I didn't want to eat in the kitchen. It was dreadful. I've been um, there twice so for birthdays. It was like terrible. It was. Yeah. It, it's always been bad. So we told yeah. that story. So haha, that was a fun story. Yeah. Remember that? That was at least a decade, decade and a half ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we went this time. Hey guys, how did it smell in there? It smelled it's, like cat piss. It, it smelled like a, like a cat was loose. <laughs> yeah. Like a cat had fucking evacuated everything in its fucking body. Yeah, it was, it, it, we were walking up the stairs to our table and Johnny's like, what is that smell? No. Dude, it stank, it stank of a cat's leavings. Like <laughs> what? No. And <laughs> not too long ago, like a few months ago, we went to an Italian restaurant that was very kind of similar in style. We, yeah, we went to a great place. That was great. In, uh, in, in Orange in, County. In Orange County. Yeah. And uh, you can tell it's like somebody saw that place and go, yeah. let's make 5,000 of those in America. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to rip do that off. All like that and just rip it off. And it's we like, get, oh, this is the fake. Oh, yeah. Let's we, plug the place. Yeah, yeah that place needs uh, like business. What's it's it called, called um, Angelo's and Vinci's in uh, t- is Fullerton. Fullerton. Yeah. Yeah. Angelo's um, and Vinci's. And incredible it, food. Incredible. And the place is awesome. It's like three stories and Yo. there's a basement you can go into. It, yes. It is a complex and it is so cool. And you can um, tell an actual Italian family went fucking haywire yep. on and had fun decorating everything. Yep. They had stuff that I, I'm going to quote J- Johnny. I was thinking about this and laughing all of our winter break. They had all these jesters and angels with wings and weird dolls hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. Shit you would actually see in a, a, a weird Italian guy's house. And Johnny said it best. He said, half the decorations in here look like they would come to life as a devil may cry boss. <laughs> <laughs> Summed it up perfectly. Yeah. Uh, that place is legit. There's there's vague uh, back and forth on they might close down. Yeah. There, there's They're renovating that whole area. Yeah. Oh. And um, there's not definitive word on yeah. whether they're closing down, becoming part of this new complex they're building, yeah. or just moving to yeah. another location. Ooh. So uh, e- either it's way still you up should in the go air. Now. They, yeah. it, there's a sign that says, are we closing? And it says, not yet. And basically it gives a rundown, like there's no plans not on closing yet, yet but Ooh. they're seeing, yeah. but go while you can, if it is closing yeah. or moving, who knows? Yeah. But there's no definitive answer. It's if worth it's, going. For, yeah, it's worth it is trip, very, very sure. good. That's awesome. So um, what, hypothetical, we get an email from Buca de Beppo. Yeah. Being mm-hmm. like, we're looking for sponsors. This podcast is, you know, you make 64 sponsors themselves. That's pretty cool. But we also, Tango, we're jealous. Yeah. We want a sponsor. Would you, what would you say to them? To Buca de Beppo? Would you be like, okay, well, Ch- fix your, ch- fix your menu, change your, change, you tell them change to change before we, if they, put a, if they put a Mega 64 themed item on the menu, maybe we'll... You might turn the tide. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So, Buka de Beppo, I'm sure you're watching. 
If you want to, oh, sure. you know, get no good graces, let these guys design a menu item. No, yeah. they're they're filing for chapter eleven within the next six months. <laughs> Fair enough. It, to, it was uh, dead. It sure. was absolutely dead. And this place is huge. It, yes, it's it it's Titanic. Yeah. And really, again, they I think that place really counts on the party atmosphere. Yes. Uh, a lot. I remember Birthdays when we were younger. When like we that. went, when we were younger, it was like, oh, you got to have a reservation. Yeah, we went to high school. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you needed that. We did not need that. We walked in, and yeah, they wanted to take our picture as if we were having a fucking party, and it was like, no, three no, dudes. we're we're pretty miserable here. So three dudes I, getting dinner. Let's put the camera down. <laughs> yeah. You want oh. a photo? <laughs> yeah. You want a photo to remember this miserable lasagna you had? <laughs> yeah. You well, should have gotten a picture of no one smiling. That would have been a great. Hey, Damn it. but 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 hey. <laughs> We had been built for so much money just sitting down ah, yeah, that yeah. it was like, if they take our picture, what are we conning, getting conned yeah. into? I, that was my I mentality. just thought it's like, oh, this is a con. If we had that picture, yeah. I would put it on a shirt <laughs> <laughs> and have Buca de Beppo. Damn, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Next time. Oh. Um, Next time. Yeah, man. It, I think, are there three locations in San Diego County? I think I, there's I know of one. the one downtown. That's is what I know of. Temporarily closed. Temporarily closed. So I don't think it's coming I don't, back. I, it might not be coming oh, back. Okay. I don't know. So we're down to two. The one we went to is near that movie theater. Okay. Uh, the the I just remember going there for prom. To book it at Beppo. Yes, my, my group went for prom. <laughs> no. And I was like, okay, I don't know what this is. And it was like, no, you'll love it. It's everything's family style, and I barely fucking ate that night. Because someone got their fucking Ritz cracker ass pizza, uh, and th- it looked like it had fucking ketchup and kids cuisine slop <laughs> onto it, and everyone took a piece. And I'm like, I guess I'll take this little corner. Are we getting anything else? No, it's all family style. That was for the family. Yeah, this ain't my fucking family. Let's get out of here. And that was it. I was all. Wow. I remember leaving so mad that night, Man. and then I went again with the family where it was the the shit cheese situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheese. I went Rotten once cheese. during GDC with a bunch of game developers. I was at a table with with some pretty well known game developers. That was the one place that was like available that night, and I remember everyone eating. And then there was a silence, and a very prominent game developer said, "So yeah, this is pretty expensive for a lot of shit Italian food, isn't it?" <laughs> <laughs> and we all and everyone there laughed because I wasn't sure. I was like, "Am I am I yeah. the one? Am I the poorest person at this table?" I don't know how everyone feels about it, and they yeah. were all like, "Man, we got fucking ripped I off." Can't believe Mia Mayo said that. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it was I'm not saying it was Miyamoto. Kojima is just throwing not, all these insults. You know, I'm not gonna say it was I'm not gonna say it was Kojima. Ah, Reggie said it. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't anyone like that. Were you guys yeah. in the Pope room or the Pope oh, room? There's a Pope room, and apparently there's a Pope room in every single one yes. because I've yeah. seen photos of this in other locations. Uh, yeah. You gotta With, love the Pope. These are just carbon copy Buca de Beppos. They're all the same. Mm-hmm. There's even one in Universal in in City Walk, so you can yeah. take the oh, kids. There is one there. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take the kids. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't even let's go fun as a joke. It was. Uh, I mean, the stream was good. <laughs> yeah, I the stream was really good. Stream. But I enjoyed feeding Rocco uh, and, uh, spaghetti juice oh. from. Uh, yeah, I did. From, I did suck spaghetti juice <laughs> from Kevin's spoon, spoon? giant oh. spoon. <laughs> Uh, what the? I, fuck? It was worth it though. <laughs> I will say it was worth it though. I got a message from my mom uh-huh, the next yeah. day saying. Uh, I didn't know she was watching our archive channel. Okay. And she messaged me. She said that Buga stream was one of the funniest things I think you guys have ever done. Wow. I was like, really? She's like, I was laughing. She's like, you're resting your hand on the spaghetti and then sucking down <laughs> pasta juice. <laughs> and she's like, I was dying laughing. Johnny's already like that. Stick that it. coming from my one of my parents was like putting right. breadsticks in his nice. water and All stuff. Right, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Johnny. Johnny was pulling the a, Ryan uh, Reed method yeah. make it easier to eat. Yeah, yeah. Johnny was pulling a uh, Christmas vacation with the turkey. You know, he, he kept putting food in, the, in his water and then eating it. Johnny was playing well to the camera. That yeah. Day. Oh, it was that's great. good. I it didn't know so it was good. like a weird. I didn't know you guys were going avant garde. Oh, it was oh, like yeah. a, it was weird. like a David Lynch. Because I'm always worried. I'm like, are oh, you going to bring a fucking tripod into a restaurant? Like, no. what about the no, other? We, people? No, we passed. Like, the, we passed. We passed the camera around. Okay, we, we didn't do any tripod. We passed the camera. And then I just think about like, yo, are people watching you do all this gross shit? But it's like this place is dead. It's empty. Oh, it's yeah, absolutely no one, dead. No one cared. Yeah. I think there was one table that when we were uh, sucking and going. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, there was I think there was a table kind of like they weren't bothered. It was just kind of like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, they were bothered. <laughs> uh, the, for me, what was anyway. cracking me up was uh, 
I watched it back and I didn't realize that when Kevin was just eating a full meatball, how fucking raw that meatball was. Yeah. Oh, people in the chat. Oh, no. Dude, I read that later in the comments. People were like, Kevin just ate the most raw meatball I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know that. I've eaten worse. Okay. Doesn't get much worse, uh, though. Uh, yeah. Shit. Well, that's the show tonight. Let's yeah, do Marbuka de Beppo. Do you have any more? Tales. No. Nah. No, nah, I think that's it. They have desserts, but we're like, do you want dessert? Fuck no. No, I didn't trust them for the dessert. I'm hungry now, though. Hey, I'm stay starving. tuned. You want to get? Let's get Buka. Oh, fuck. Let's give him the we'll redemption get, challenge. Get Buka to Beppo while I build Legos. And we'll... <laughs> Dude, if we got like like Postmates or Uber Eats Buka to Beppo, I don't. I think we'd go bankrupt. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we could afford. There's to not do enough it. subs of Twitch in the world. Seriously, no. dude. We did once <laughs> get um, <laughs> to uh, Uber Eats Five Guys, and that was like, dude, oh my, God. that was like devastating. Yeah. Uh, for hamburgers. Yeah. For hamburgers. <laughs> five Guys already. I did, and I, hey, I like Five Guys a lot. Yeah. But it's the prices are not. Yeah, I, I'm not a millionaire. I can't dude. eat Five Guys. You crazy? Yeah, I'm I a dollar millionaire. It's yeah. too much. That's gone I too. Always, uh, I always, always, yeah. I've said it before, but I'm, I'm always not feeling whenever people compare oh in and out and five guys this and that they're not in the same tax bracket yeah <laughs> like yeah. In, and, in and out <laughs> yesterday right. we did a stream by the way kevin did a great stream yesterday uh we called it a meal at in and out <laughs> and so you're thinking oh oh he's gonna yeah, eat in and out kevin in brought and out. all his mres oh that was to in and out and ate them there yeah it was a great stream I got in and out for all of us. We were multiple hungry dudes. <laughs> and that shit, we ate everything we wanted to. Came to like 26 bucks. Yep. Mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. all of us in all of us California dudes. Mm -hmm. You can't, I mean, that's like a burger. It, yeah, that's like the yeah. fries. That's like that's the peanuts they say are their free. Their fries are like seven dollars. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Dude. Yeah, it's it's so to me, that's like not even. Not yeah. even comparable. Not even close. At Buka, that would that would that got you the bread. They yeah. didn't even do the bread right. No, they didn't. The garlic bread, it looked like some fucking heated up from the it looked like uh some kids' cuisine shit. Like I said, it's <laughs> like like they fro like they heated up something frozen. It was fucking weird. The whole thing was weird. Mm -hmm. Very weird. I'm so fucking mad. Let's I didn't even want to revisit it. Let's move on it. to something positive. You know, the Buka de Peppo story, it's so negative, it's so <laughs> down. <laughs> <laughs> Buka de Peppo. Pe Is that what it's called? <laughs> no, no Peppo. No, you, you call it Buka de Peppo. Buka, Buka de Pepto Peppo. Bismo. Buka de, Buka de Pepe. Buka de Pepto. <laughs> anyway, uh, stay tuned to the archives channel because there's more to come. The, the MRE stream. Yeah. The skate session yeah, that Sean we, and I had yesterday. We had a skate session with uh, Sawyer and Lennon, and Jenny came out and we skated some. That looks so sick. much coming yeah. to the archives channel. Uh, yeah. If you don't subscribe to this channel for the Mega64 podcast, you should. Yeah. But also subscribe to the archives for the PPS and uh, all kinds of fun stuff. Yeah. And once again, check out that merch drop we, yeah. we put out this week. Um, that's going away within hours of you watching this. So if you missed that or anything, get it now. Pick okay. it up. Get on it. And uh, yeah, we will see you. The streams continue. You yeah. know, we, we're, we're going to keep streaming. But we're uh, gonna mic shot up right the main now. show, I think it's time to wrap it up. Johnny, you got any, anything you want to? Um, watch the speed running movie. It was pretty good. You what? A speed run movie? Oh, yeah. was it that documentary I was talking about? Yeah, I watched that. Uh, really good. Didn't have to be two hours. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, they should speed yeah, run speed the movie. Run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it was called like Running with Speed. I don't remember what it was okay. called. Running with Scissors? Yeah, it's Running with Scissors. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's all I have to say. All I right. watched so much shit. We would be here all day. I could go on and on and on and on. You guys see that show Tulsa King? No, no. I don't want to watch no, that. That's some old man shit. Yeah. What am I? I watched the old man. Jeez. All right. Yeah, I'll I watched Yellowstone like, on my own like a young That's old man shit, too. <laughs> Fuck these westerns. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Johnny, fade us out. You don't need to fade. Fade us out. Fade us out. Fade us up. Fade us out. Oh! Fade us oh! Us out. oh!